Daytona, let's go away. Daytona. Hey guys, happy Sega Saturday. Welcome on in. We got Boggy B in the chat, Mindscan, Brenner, Mindscan, Stream Elements, Zorak, DRM. Thank you for the nine months. Appreciate it. Sub baby. Ice Pulse, welcome on in. How you doing? Artemidorus, welcome. Deucey, you're second. Mind scan, you're the first. Deucey, you're the second. Art, you're the third. Congrats. Knocking out those pre-rolls, yeah. That seems to be like the new thing on Twitch. I, 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 I did some research. I think that's that's why. That's why um, there's so many ads. Like, I, I, I noticed like the past few weeks, like everybody talked, oh, I gotta, I gotta sit through an ad. I gotta sit through an ad. I'll just hit it off at the beginning of the stream so nobody gets to see it in the middle. And then I guess when I go take a take a whiz or something, I'll run another ad or something, you know? No biggie. Pesky ads. Turn on that pesky ad block. Turn the ad block on. <laughs> Alright, welcome on in everybody. Happy Saturn Day. Let's see here. Every hour, yeah. Flute Wizard, welcome on in. Doing great. Sending some good vibes. Thank you. A lot of groovy vibes. Sub to your favorite. Sh yes, exactly. Good stuff. Let's get those Cheerios out of the way. I might have to change the gimmick of the Cheerio. Um, I feel like I, this is getting old, but we'll make it better. I'll, I promise we'll make it better. So one for uh, Mind Scan. Mmm, Honey Nut Cheerios. Two for Ducey. And Artie got the third. Daytona. 90 second ad every 30. Yeah, that's what it is. Donuts. I was thinking about may maybe eating an apple. I don't know. Make it make it a little bit different. Gonna get fat quick. Yeah, that's true. Foggy B, welcome on in. That's right. When I did when I did the ASMR Cheerios, that's true. Yeah, maybe I, I should bring that back. Forget the the single eats. I think the joke has worn off quite a bit. So maybe we'll replace it with something else. We still have first, second, third. Apples are for villains. I just went out and bought peaches. It was really good. Yo, Moss Mango, welcome on in. That's what I should do. You need a mango. <laughs> welcome on in, everybody. Happy Saturn Day. Uh, I do these every Saturday. A variety stream of Japanese Saturn imports. I picked out eight good games to play tonight. And we're gonna go through the whole stack overnight, just like we did yesterday with the Xbox 360. So the first, first game we're gonna start off with is a cave shmup called Dodon Pachi, everybody's favorite. We did some cave shoot 'em ups last night, and that was uh, that was good. So Dodon Pachi we'll start off with 6 a.m. Yes, 6 a.m. We went all the way to 6 a.m. <coughs> we'll probably end sooner. Who knows? Uh, then we're going to play a 3D brawler called Karyotasi. I streamed this game last year. Figure it's time to stream it again. Maybe we'll play a, di a different character this time. Uh, then we're going to play a, uh, a puzzle game that I've never finished. Kenny, welcome on in. How you doing? Called Noon. It's not noon, but it's 11, 11 p.m. So we're going to play Noon. New type action game. Uh, then we're going to play a 2D fighting game called Rabbit. Very colorful game. Uh, mint discs, yes, very mint. And then we're gonna play a game that we never streamed before, only because I was afraid of getting hit with the DMCA complaint. We'll just mute the music when that happens. Uh, Road Rash. Rusty Cage at the beginning, but we'll have to mute Rusty Cage. We'll just have to sing along, pretend it's Rusty Cage. Soundgarden. <coughs> then we're gonna play some Metal Slug. <laughs> I've played Metal Slug before. I just feel like playing all action games today. Then we're gonna play Iron Man slash XO Mano War in heavy metal. Nice little 2D platformer. And then we're gonna end the night off with some Strikers 1945. Is the Sega Saturn region free? It is not actually. There are some games, <coughs> a small selection. A very, very small selection of games that are region free. Um, I believe Daytona USA is one of them. Uh, Virtualons, um, Cyber Troopers works on all regions. 
Uh, Croc works on Japanese and the US version of Croc works on US and Japanese models. Um, Dark Savior, the US version works on a Japanese system. It's for, yeah, and if you pop in a, an import adapter like Action Replay, it'll work. That too. So, let's go away, guys. Let's start with uh, some Dodon Pachi. Let's let's start it up. We we yeah. There you go, Daytona. <coughs> oh yeah, and that's the other thing too. I wanna I wanna retire the Cheerios because every time I eat a Cheerio, it makes me cough because it gets like stuck. I don't drink. I don't have like milk or something with it. All right, Dodon Pachi party dress. Welcome on in. How you doing? Good to see everybody. All right, we're starting with the shmup, a bullet hell shmup, and we're gonna end with the bullet hell shmup. That's how. That's that's my style. Dusty Cheerios, though. That yeah, dusty, dusty, sugar, honey nut. What's the bee's name in the hun honey nut Cheerio? Do they just call him the bee. I don't know. Forgot his name. Press start button. All right, that's options. We're going to play this shit on E. Oh, yeah. You know what? I already have it set. Easy. Saturn mode. Ooh. We could do Saturn mode. Or arcade mode. What should we do? Let's do, let's do Saturn mode. Do Sega Saturn mode. So you guys get the real deal. Let's go. Kawa. Ah, OSD, HS, OSS. Here we go. The B is named Buzz. That's right. It's funny how your childhood, like, your memory just, like, goes away after a while. You forget who the B's name is in Honey Nut Cheerios. You forget who Toucan Sam's name is. It's Toucan Sam. Honeycomb Cereal. That's true. Honeycombs are, are freaking banging. Dodon Pachi. Let's go. Alright, what are we starting as? Hmm. Select your battle fight. We could be the red ship, we could be the green, or the blue. I think we're gonna be the red. Something about the color red I really enjoy. Shot laser. Shot. There we go. Shot. Okay. The countdown, countdown is begins. Three, two, two, one. one go. go. There we go. It's the first level of the Saturn version. This is technically an exclusive level. This is not from the arcade version at all. It's Saturn. And then it goes to the first level of the game. I call this level zero of Dodon Pachi. Must get. Should we go for the high score? I don't know about the high score. Oh, you can hold down the C button. There you go. That's cool. And then hold down the A to switch. Okay, cool. Nice. And it B's my bomb. Hmm. Grab one of those. So the best thing about Saturn mode, it unlocks the um, the final boss at the end. You don't have to do those, like, crazy requirements to unlock it in the arcade mode. It's already unlocked. There we go. Going for that one credit clear. Let's go. There we go. Grab that P. Power up. Grab the thing. There we go. Grab the other thing. Oh, I missed the thing. There we go. Grab that thing. Bon ah! Bon ghoul. We're starting again. <laughs> Not supposed to die at the beginning like that. Does this feel easy after all those bullet hells yesterday? Yes, I think it does. Do I own all the shmu Saturn shmups? Technically, I do. The one, the only ones that I'm missing is the non, like the Satacore releases of certain games. Like there's a Satacore release of, of um, Dodon Pachi, but it's the same game. 
and then it's the non Satacore version of Layer Section. And the regular version of Terra Diver, I have the remake, the, the re-release that's not buggy. Other than that, I mean, they're all the same game, so <clears throat> yeah, I have them all. And it is said some of the visual novels slash adventure games have hidden shmups in them. So, I mean, I just have to get all those visual novels and find out. <laughs> one of them, one of the adventure games has a, a shmup in there, like a one level Dojin game inside. City level. Boom. Keep power up. All right. Come on, getting through this part. Swing back. There we go. That's when you use the bomb. Boss time. Sokyo Grantai, that's what it's called. Local news video. I think Cody showed that on his stream. Did, did they do another one? So if it was another one, I, I think I, I don't think I saw that one. Bomb that. Come on, give me a good combo here. Couple more shots. Nice. Good escape there. 27. Oh, yes. Oh. Income and link if anyone's interesting. Oh, wait. A link? Wait, hold on. Wait. You're a VIP, Zorax. I think you could post a link. You might be able to post a link because you have, a, you have a, a VIP. VIPs could post links. You could. And I got a no miss bonus. Look at that. Seattle sucks kind of thing. Ah, uh, nah, I didn't see that one. That's the original I already showed. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, then I saw it already. Bring it. All right, so this is the first level from Dodon Pachi in the arcade. It's very easy to 1cc and get the highest score on. Yeah, I think after playing all those bullet hells last night, this is like cake now. Oh my kidding, this is gonna this is the hardest game. One of the hardest uh bull hells ever. Dodon Pachi series. Alright. Boss Town. Warning. Mission starts now. Avoid the bullets. Avoid the bullets. Avoid the bullets. I'm playing this on easy. That's why this is this this level is very easy. Hang on. Avoid the bullets. Keep the combo going and boom. Hunter four hit. There's their one. One uh one uh, life kill there. <sighs> Let's see, what's our high score? No miss. There we go. How many, was that two million? Two million points so far. All right, this is technically level two now.
Was this an early bullet hell? Um, I'd say it's the earliest in the series. Um, this is the well-known version of, like, well, well known in the series of Don Pachi. This is the second game. Uh, before Don Pachi, there were there were games out there called like um, mm. Hold on, my mind my mind's drawing a blank. I'm trying to think. It's trying to bullet hell schmup and think at the same time. It's not working. Uh not blast when what was that other game in the Saturn? That's bullet hell. Toaplan made it. Uh, wasn't blast when. Who's the other fucking schmuck? I have the clear image in my head what it is, what it is. Forgot what it's called. Cause I can't think. And bullet hell at the same time. Hmm. Oh, got an extra life. Look at that. Okay. The game is called. Chat, don't tell me. I'm gonna try to think and try to remember it. Not blast win. It's um. Damn it! I'm drawing a fucking blank. What's it called? Not Rekka. Not Rekka. Mind scan. Something else. It was on the Saturn. Not Blast Win. I keep I keep calling it Blast Win for some reason. Fuck. Game was crazy on the Saturn. Yeah, what? Okay, hold on. What's it called? I have it right here. It's called Batsugan. That's the name of the game. Oh, Batsugan. Yes, Batsugan was like the earliest one. Go. Batsugan. That shit was driving me nuts. Batsugan. Ba -ba -ba. Bum. Yeah, look at all those gold stars. Yep, Batsugan's the game. That was the first bullet hell that the uh, the creators of Dodon Pachi would, you know, that the, the team would leave Toaplan and it would be uh, Dodon Pachi would be the next game they would make. Yeah, I like to I like to try Wrecking one day on the Famicom. That game is like five hundred dollars, maybe a thousand dollars expensive now. I remember at Too Many Games 2013, they wanted 200 bucks for it. <sighs> That's crazy. Like, the the good NES slash Famicom shmups are, are always going to be over 100 bucks. Um, Gun Knack is one of them. I should have bought it for 200 bucks. See, I actually inquired to the seller, hey, can I have that Summer Carnival 92 Rekka? Yeah, it's gonna be 200 bucks. I'm like, Ugh, I don't think so. But see, like, if I had the budget that I have now, I probably could have afforded it very easily. But, uh, seems like the retro prices increase as you get the, uh, as your salary increases. <laughs> That's funny. Later that year, like, I think it was, like, right after that convention, I picked up, uh, Little Samson, the Famicom version, for, like, 100 bucks. And then now that's, like, 200 or 300 bucks. Oh, I passed that bullet hell. All right. There we go. Ooh, it's going fast. You want Lickle? Lickle's really good. Yo, Elster, welcome on in. How you doing? Power up. Get that bomb. Um, Lickle is Little Samson. Yep. That's that's the Japanese version. It's literally the same thing as um, Little Samson. I, you know... Regionally, there's no real difference between the two, except for the title. That's it. There is no story text. So you could, like, enjoy the game without knowing Japanese, for sure. Um, it's just climbed uh, crazy, di uh, you know, crazy price because people like me that say oh hey little samson the japanese version's just like the american version you want to play a little samson get the japanese version 
and now the, you know, the price of the game, you know, it took, it's funny, it took like a good 10 years for everybody to like realize that. But really back then, um, getting a fan, you know, getting a hold of, of a Famicom system, one up, uh, or being, finding a way to play Famicom games on an NES was a little bit tricky to do. Nowadays, you know, you could just pop in any clone console. You could play Famicom. No problem at all. Or you just, you know, get an import adapter that is very widely available now. So people are going after Famicom cartridges like they're nothing. And uh, the demand of that is starting to rise. So... And that's why I always say, as soon as Analog releases that adapter, that Lynx adapter for the uh, the pocket, Lynx games are going to increase like crazy. So, if you want to become a fan of Atari Lynx, get those games now. That's my prediction. And the same goes with the Neo Geo Pocket Color. When that adapter hits, the prices are just gonna go, they're gonna skyrocket. Japanese panic restaurant is a little different. Kitsy looking character, diff yeah. You got the Japanese panic restaurant early on, like 60, yeah. Let's see here. This is your Rekka? Oh, nice Rekka there. That's really nice. Oh, summer carnival. Carnival. Look, looks almost, wait, hold on. You got a fake one? It's fake? Oh, you got a fake one. <laughs> Almost looks real. Yikes. Oh, you almost fooled me there. 15 bucks, yeah. That's the other thing, too, with the Famicom cartridges. It's very easy to make a fake. H how do you know which one's real, which one's fake? Which one's, how, if it's authentic or not. I was fortunate with my copy, a little Samson, when I sold it off. Like, my local game store opened it up. I'm like, yeah, you got a real copy there. It's not a it's not a fake at all. I'm like, nice. What did I get out of it? I got a PC Engine CD version of uh, Dracula X. Which was a good deal, good deal at the time. Now that game is... It's easy to it's easy easy to, to play a copy of that game um, now, but back then it was a little bit scarce. But I I, I picked up the copy to collect uh, Dracula X, not to really play. There we go. Bomb. Now, if I could find a PC Engine CD-ROM attachment for my Super Graphics, then I'll I'll definitely play uh, all my CD games uh, on stream. Um, I real I technically have no real way of playing um, my Super Graphics, uh, my PC Engine Duo without like using composite AB, but my, my my Turbo Duo has crappy capacitors on there. So the audio is like super, would be like super low, maybe to none. Uh, so I gotta get my, I gotta get my Turbo Duo re recapped and maybe RGB modded. That'll probably be the best bet. And I say super graphics, I could just, the super graphics, I could just, you know, don't have to recap that shit at all. It just works. Dead. There's always English versions too. Bomb it. Bomb it. Bomb it. Bomb it. Bomb it. Bomb it. Cool. Good stuff. Do I own my home? Do I own my home? Do I own my home? 
That's a that's a weird question to ask. <laughs> that's a very weird question to ask. That's too personal. I don't think I'm gonna answer that question. I'm gonna choose not to answer that question. I'm gonna choose not to answer that question. At least you gotta give some context there. Why 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 would you wanna know something like that? <laughs> Montana owns his home. Yeah, he's he's got his own home. Boom, boom, boom. And hey, Neo Comica, welcome on in. How you doing? Happy Sega Saturday. Come on down. Just curious, you rent? Would love to own your place, but the house price is getting insane right now. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's crazy to go out and buy a house. I mean, if you get, you can get a house, um, cheap you get a house cheap I mean I can feel like maybe the maybe the question was like okay if I own my own if you own your own house you know maybe you could get like a put like a get a pool put an arcade in there or something like that maybe if that's what you were trying to ask I know some people that own their own home, their homes, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they put an arcade in their, uh, garage. That shit gets expensive because, like, the electricity. Kind of, kind of like being near the, uh, downtown, yeah. True. P, 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 power up, power up, power, 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 another power, three powers. How many powers was that? Bombing. Ooh, look at all those B-wing there. B-wings. Bombing. Arcade garages. Yeah, doable renting. True. I mean, you could rent a house. And put it, you know, get a garage, you know, rent, renting a house. I've seen, I've known people that rent houses. I remember growing up, I remember seeing somebody rent an entire house instead of um, buying it. I'm sure that's how they do it in uh, Philadelphia. Those row houses, roommates are great. Enjoy your time with your roommates. Too old now for yeah. You get to a certain age, you can't really have a roommate. Um, because you know you got your own. Like I, 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 I don't think I could like go back to like dorm living, living in uh in uh, like in college. There's just too much, too much agreements and mutual agreements and disagreements between two parties. I remember when I was in college, I had this roommate, and I'm not. This isn't a. This isn't a story to bash the roommate. This is to bash the roommate's friend. I had a. Oh wait, I run out of credits. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Yeah, I had a roommate who um, didn't even. He had a friend who didn't even uh, live. Didn't even go to the same school. He was just living. He was legitimately living in our dorm. Um, and I was told he was gonna stay there for a few days. He was there for like two months, and that was anno that annoyed the crap out of me. <laughs> it really did. And I was like, yo, you know, we're paying to live here. 
we gotta charge him rent if he's gonna do this. But eventually he got out, you know, so it all worked out. Can't have roommates if you wanna fit, yeah, true. That's true. No, that's true. Literally impossible to rent your own place in Boston if you make under 70,000. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. In New York City, Apartments in New York City, I think, I think a one bedroom part, like, not even a one bedroom apartment, a studio apartment, I think it's like two grand a month or something, and it's not even that big of a space that you could get. It's like those apartments you see on, like, YouTube, oh, I li he lives in a closet. And Lower uh, East Side Manhattan or something, or Upper East Side Man Manhattan, and he only pays two grand a month, and the apartment is legitimately the size of a, a closet, like a like a big closet, and the bed is like a it's like a lofted bed and stuff. Yeah, imagine putting your entire video game collection in there. Yeah, lives off, lives in a closet, lives off a of ramen. Exactly, that's exactly like those those BuzzFeed um, videos. You're eating ramen now, nice. Seattle too. Yeah, I, I I think any 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 city, any place that's like near a metro area, has that like typical like renting. It's like expensive to live sort of deal. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dead, I, I, I went right into that. Power up, bomb it. Just spent $500 on an order from Japan, yikes. A video game order from Japan or? Like, did you spend that in shipping? I hear shipping from Japan is like crazy. You're almost 40, nothing wrong with roommate. Oh, oh yeah, true. If it's your like best friend as a roommate, that's a different story. Okay, final boss, here we go. Here comes the final boss. I think it's a giant bee. Fighting a giant bee now. Shipping ended up being 25. Takes the money off DHL. More you buy. Sir, you, sir, you gaga, yeah. Oh, it's a bee. Giant bee. The Dodon Pachi bee. Giant B. He had a good deal like a decade ago with a roommate who was her best friend. It was uh, beautiful and big home. Three, li three of us living there. Like you had your own floors. So, oh, nice. That's all right. Happy ending there. Bought some new Geo Pocket Color stuff, some Vita stuff, Battletoads on Fam. Nice. Battletoads on Famicom. That's a good one. Uh, some stuff that other people threw in for PS1, PSP. Nice. Good stuff. Hope you got some really good PS1 stuff in there. Now, this is the final, final boss. This. This skull on fire that shoots lots and lots of bullets. Alright, let's 
see. Got to use a bomb. Dead. All right. Oh, let's get it. Bomb. Bomb. Spam bombs on this guy. Couple more shots. Got him. Nice. <laughs> cool. Did it. We beat Dodon Pachi. Even though we cheated, but we, we got through it. <laughs> you could buy your own condo, but then you'd be far away from Boston. Yeah. Ending. All right. Oops, staff. Beat the game. Now, here's the part where I try to do a 1cc run on the hardest setting. Let's see if I can do it. Thanks to the GGs. A 1cc hard mode attempt. Let's see how far we can get. I don't think I can do it, but we'll see. Special thanks. Lived alone since you were 16, apart from girl. Yeah, gotcha. Portland this year? Am I going to Portland Retro Game Expo this year? Uh, probably not, because the the price of, like, plane tickets are, like, insanely expensive, unfortunately. But, uh, I don't know. I was planning on going to Seattle in the fall. I don't know if that's still going to happen or not, but it, it's, it's, it's up in the air at this point. Um... Alright, I'm gonna try a hard mode. Wait, I'm gonna try hard mode. I'm gonna do arcade hard mode, 1cc. Let's see if I can pull this off. Score attack? Hold on. Very hard. Hard. Five chance. Do one chance. Very hard. Score attack mode. Let's go. The only reason you've been staying here is because rent's about $300 less than normal on the area. Landlord just doesn't. Uh, score attack. Let's see if we can pull this off. Let's see how high of a score we can get. Select your battle yeah, it's a 1cc run. Let's see how far we can get. Two, one. You got three lives, though. Okay. Highest score you can get in Don Dodon Pachi. There we go. All right, score attack mode. How does this work? Oh. Missed all those bees. Level up start. Welcome on in. Happy Saturday. Welcome. Alright, let's get this guy. Ah! 
Pokemon with Ghoul. Oh, never mind. It's still going. We're not gonna get the highest score now. Dead. Power up. There we go. Yeah, that's not a very good score. <laughs> 701,940. Mr. has Arcade Dodon Pachi. Nice. So, the original arcade version, not the Saturn's arcade mode, there's a way to unlock the final boss um, on the second loop. There's, there's like a trick you could. Uh, you have to pull off certain requirements you have to do on the first loop and the second loop. Gotta love that guitar riff. Dead. Game over. Game over. Game over. That's the password. All right, so that was Don Dodon Pachi. We're gonna jump to the next game of the night. Dodon Pachi, good game, good game. Next game we're gonna play is Karyo Tossi. Karyo Tossi is the next game we're gonna play. Karyo Tossi, let's pop that in. Karyo Tossi. It is a uh, 3D brawler. We played it last year. I think we beat it, too. Maybe we'll beat it tonight. Who knows? Should be good. That's what the disc looks like inside. It's cool. Let's go. You pay $300 for an apartment two blocks from an amazing beach on the sh sunshine. Oh, that's really cool. That's a cool. You live near a beach? That's that's freaking awesome. It's rent controlled, yeah. I guess in Australia it's it's different than how it is in the US. Alright, I'm hitting start. Yeah, that's a good deal. Now, but if it's near a beach, is it like a beach that you can like like you get like sand and ocean or like that kind of beach or is it like a beach where it's just you know a coast and an ocean and it's not like you know hey it's a sunny day on the beach but if you say amazing beach that means that that that's the it's the better one gold coast 10 out of 10 aussie beach nice cool karyotasi 10 Okay, I don't remember seeing this intro. <laughs> That's interesting. Or maybe I have seen this intro. I just didn't pay attention. There's a broomstick. And a girl. I guess she's a witch because she's telling the future of the broomstick. She's telling the broomstick that you're going to clean. You're a broomstick. Clean. Boom. Never seen this game before? Very interesting intro to a brawler, yeah. Alright, I guess that I guess they're a family. <laughs> She's a witch, the broom, and some evil wizard. Oh. Yeah, I definitely have not seen this before. Cole, welcome on in. How you doing? Scientist and a robot. This is very interesting. Yeah, I don't remember seeing this before. <laughs> It's a robot with a jetpack. No, yeah, it's got a jetpack. 
is going flying. Dude, I want to be the robot with this jetpack. All right. Um, and then that somebody has a poking stick. Who is that? Some anime guy? Some anime warrior with the poking stick. Really cool 3D animation right there with that sun graphic. Cool. That that's interesting. All right, Karyotasi time. Um, that's the title screen. Karyotasi. Yay. All right. Let's play. The menu is all in Japanese. Just to do the default. Here we go. You missed 360, Shrump Knight. Oh, sorry to hear that. Well, the VOD is up still. All right, we could play as Bunny Chick. We could play as this weird panda. This anime girl with horns. Um. Carrot. Some carrot dude. Mystery guy. Anime warrior guy. Scientist. Uh, anime scientist woman. Anime. Anime. Blonde anime chick. Uh, green haired anime person. Um, witch. Uh, anime, anime babe, anime nurse, um, let's call this guy Jeeves, call him Jeeves, anime robot, oh, even more anime robot, oh snap, um, Naruto, Naruto if he was like a, like a gorilla, uh, anime girl number two with horns. Um, pigtailed anime chick. Um, alien looking anime dude. Bald haired anime guy. Bunny chick. You know, I want to be the robot. I want to be the robot. I'm going to be the robot with the jetpack. Yeah, that's who I want to be. Anime robot. There we go. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Let's let's go. Let's play. All right. So the object of the game, I believe, is you got to be the last person standing. Last person, it's it's Smash Brothers. Get it. Oh, that's that's loud. Let me let me just tone it down to 13. That should be better. Oh, you kick, you can kick with the, the, bu the B button. What does C do? C is the jump. Oh, I could shoot. Oh, I gotta kick. Don't fall off. Nope. Dead. I died. All right. So you can't fall. You got to, like, knock your opponents off the thing. And uh, I lost this round. And it's best of, like, three, four. The winner. Bald anime guy. Okay. Yeah, we're going to try this again. Kick it. Let's go. Oh, I could shoot. Hang on. I, I have like a cross here. Oh, nice. Oh, kick. Kick the ball. Oh. Oh, no. Dead. Fox of Doom, welcome on in. How you doing? 
Happy Sega Saturn Day. Welcome on in. All right, so I lost again. I was doing good, though. Now, I wonder if I could, like, camp out and not get pushed off. That, that could be an option, too. Kick. Kick. Oh, kick the girl. Kick the girl. Kick the girl. I'm doing great. Playing this weird-looking brawler game that in 3D. Kind of like Power Stone. Boom. Come on. Get off the swing. Come on. Kick the girl. There we go. She's going to fall off. Oh, nice. Yay. We knocked the bald guy off. Hang on. Kick the kick the girl. Yes. Did it. We won. Okay. This, this robot rules. This robot rules. Let's go. All right. So we won one. We got to get two more. Kick it. That nice. Jump off. Oh. oh, he's kicking me. Kick him. Yeah, we're, we're Japanese games always get you. This is good. Let's see. I'm on the swing. Kick this guy. Hey, thanks for the fall. Appreciate it. Jump, jump. Kick that guy. Oh, oh, bald guy's next. He's gonna, he's gonna get off, and then I'm gonna jump, and then I'm gonna kick him. Oh, this guy's on the swing. There we go, kick him. Come over here. Oh, kick him. Yes, got him, ding, ding, ding. All right, that's two wins. I think I need to win one more to be the, the winner of the, the map. All right, cool. This would be a great game to play with. Uh, I think this is a four-player game. It is. Play this with other people. I always wanted to do that. All right, jump up, jump up. Kick him. Nope. Oh. Kick him. Oh, nice. Ding, ding, ding. I win. Bald guy is a traditional Japanese uh, salesman. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. He's trying to sell us some stuff. I don't know what he's trying to sell. Maybe he's trying to sell us computers. Phone books, probably. All right. Next level. Level two. Hmm. Stage O2, singing in in a rain, not singing in the rain, singing in a rain. Oh, oh, oh. Kick the girl, there we go. That's one. Kick the guy. Jump. No, no, no. No. Kick. Oh, kick, kick the girl, kick the girl. Come on, robot. No. Get him. Oh, this this girl means business. Oh, kicker. Oh. Oh, get up. Come on, come on, come on, get up. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. No, no, jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up. No. Can I like? I'm like really zoomed in here. No, 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 no. Singing in a rain. I'm singing in a rain. No, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. There we go, got him. Got her. Done, that's one. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, what we got next? It's a Gundam ripoff. Yeah, I'm, I'm some robot that kicks. Oh, get up. Oh, she just threw, like, her special. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get this one. 
There you go. This reminds me of that game Robo Pit that we were playing a couple weeks ago. That's a good game, Robo Pit. One of these days, I'm going to beat Robo Pit. Got to learn how to master it. All right, that's two matches down. I got one more. Let's see. Kill, jump. Oh, get up. Come on. Dead. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Dead. <sighs> Paru, welcome on a Gundam Beach Party. Yeah. All right. At least I won two matches. Just got to get one more. Let's see how fast this match goes. Ooh. This might be a long one. Matches aren't even timed, I don't think. Come on. There we go. Oh, I thought she fell down. All right, we got one more still. The winner. Let's see. wonder if I have a special. I think if I hold the A button, like a crosshair appears on the screen. Boom, there we go. That's that's my special. Got it. Pretty cool and unique. Hey, we won. Look at that. Three three in a row. Yep, I'm totally digging this robot. This is my favorite character in the game. He kicks. He stomps. Level three. What a wonderful world. Same characters from before. All right, hang on. Oh. oh, this guy keeps jumping. Oh, bro. I died, crap. You gave it two for your sa you gave it for your you have it for your Saturn? Nice. Kirotasi. Yeah. All I know about this game because Pete Door was showing this game off uh, on his import uh, Japanese import Saturn video and I picked it up while I, I was able to. So it's really good. Nice little go to game every now and then. Oh, the street? It, it's a uh, it's water stream. Yep, that's what's. That's why she keeps jumping. Oh. Uh oh. Crap. Oh! Ding ding ding! We won. <laughs> Almost died though. The winner. So that's one. We got one in there. Two more to go. All right. Hang on. Hold A. Exploding ball. Nice. There we go. That's why she keeps jumping. Oh, nice. We win. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, they have a nice collection of Japanese release only for the set. Yeah. There's a lot of good exclusives on there. Uh, shmups are good. The the platformers are pretty good. Uh, Super Tempo is on there. It's really good. Trirish Jeppy is good. Kick it. Kick it. There we go. They're all very expensive, though. Nice. We win. How many players were you? Paro, this is a four-player game, actually. Even says it, um... Even says it, like, right there. One to four. 
Hit it. All right, fourth level. All right. All right, fourth level. The ninth level is the last level, I believe. I believe the ninth level, you fight a giant dragon. Whoa! It rotates. It's just like, um... It's like Bowser Stage 2 from Mario 64. It rotate. It, it not like, it doesn't rotate. It, it teeter-totters. That's one. Oh. Oh. That's one. Nice. We win. Power Stone for kids. What's up, Varga? Use the Saturn's version of Mode 7. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Oh. Jenny? 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 Yeah, Jenny. Oh. Come on, grab that thing. Oh. Kick it. Oh. One. Two. Three. Oh no, he got the kick. He got the last kick in. Nice, we win. That's two. Ding, ding, ding. I do have Power Stone on the Dreamcast. That's a good game. One of these days, I'll have another Dreamcast night, and I'll just play a bunch of Dreamcast games. Kick it. I need to. I need to work up my Dreamcast collection. I have some. I have some good input. Dead. Fucking explosion. Uh, I had some uh, good G uh, good Japanese imports. Uh, got some U.S. games, of course. Got the Sonic Adventures, Sonic Shuffles, Sonic Shuffle One. I always wanted to play through Sonic Shuffle. Hey, it's my robot twin. They won. I'm gonna use my robot friend. Oh. Jenny. Kenny or Jenny? Kenny. I think it's Jenny. Dead. Nice. Shuffle something. Plan to torture yourself one day and play through 100%. Yeah. What is that? Bottom right one. Okay, so I have to win one more. I'm trying to see if I could use my my robot powers here. Uh oh. Apparently you can only use it once. I win. I won by default. Hmm. Good stuff. Winner! Two minutes and three seconds. Not bad. All right. Level five. Into the storm. It's hazy. Kick it. Boom. Nice. My special did that. Nice. Oh. <laughs> she just like walked off and jumped off the circle on her on her own. She's like, nope, I'm out. I'm pe peace. Peace out. Later. Kick it. Right, that's one.
Nice. Oh, I died. Oh, she got a revenge. She's got red, red glasses on. Alright, the robot has like a one hit kill if you can like pull it off. There you go. Uh -oh. Oh. oh. Got it. Nice. That's two. The winner. Nice. That's two. Yo, Game Vampire, welcome on in. How you doing? Let's see what we got here. Take her out. Boom. Oh, no, she's not out. Uh-oh. Oh, no. No! Damn it. This, uh, dead. What's that? Oh, the nurse is... Oh. The nurse was giving her an injection. Top right wins. I need to get one more game. One more match to win. Take it. I'm going to save my special for later. Jump around. Jump, jump. Oh, stand up. There we go. Jump, jump, jump. No! Damn it. Nurse is winning. The witch won. Bottom right. Doing good. You're playing Super Mario 3 and Legend of Zelda. Two masterpieces oh, yeah, long overdue to be. Nice. How far are you in uh, Super Mario 3? No, 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 don't kick me, don't kick me. No, 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 Ah, fuck. She wins. As soon as I got caught in her song, I like, dead. All right. So this might be the last match for everybody here. Last man standing. No, no. There we go. Nice. Get the singer. Get up. No, 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 no. The nurse. Uh oh. There you go. Get up. Nice. Just fall down. No, 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 no. No. There we go. Did it. We win. Right now in the middle of World 3, and Zelda just finished two dungeons. Nice. Still in the beginning, then. Okay, cool. So we cleared that one. Hmm. We won. Good stuff. All right, now we're going to stage six of nine. Six, seven, eight, nine's the last one. We're getting there. What's six? Ice World, the Winter Wonderland. Matt, how you doing next to the GGs? I'm doing great. I'm feeling good. Kick it. I'm going to hold my A till ice. Kick it. Boom. Uh-oh. Ice. Slippery. Nice. I win. Ding, ding. That's one. The winner. And then we're going to do this again. Kick it. The green. No, no, no. Dead. A oh, close one. Dead. That's what I get for using my special too early. Ding, ding, ding. 
<laughs> Feels like this is Mario Party. Yeah. Speaking of NES, which NES games am I looking to stream down the road? I got two NES games, the Street Fighter 2010 and uh, Starship Hector. I'm miss a dead. Starship, oh, that guy turned into a giant. Starship Hector, which is like a schmuck. I'm uh, probably gonna stream those two. Well, that guy's a giant. That's his power up, he turns into a giant. Crazy. Street Fighter 2010, yeah. It's not Street Fighter. You gonna go to bed? Thanks for stopping in, Matt. Japanese Mario Brawls, yeah. Okay, I'll try this again. We'll get the, the giant guy. Oh, nice. Oh, jump, jump. oh you fucking asshole. He, he was like, oh, he's at the edge. I'm gonna kick him. The winner. He's got two. You know, I'm just gonna like grab. I'm just gonna kill the guy on the bottom right here. Oh, he's a giant. Oh, nice. There we go. That's one shot. Me and the giant. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, you fucking asshole, you giant. James and the giant peach. Oh. Asshole. First heard of it and you saw Eva Jin's review of the game. That's how I heard about it, too. Stage six. Giant. Oh. So when he's a giant, he can't be hit. Dead. When he's a giant, he can't be touched. Oh, it's a girl. Never mind. Kick him. Right, taking out the giant first. No, not the giant. Oh, don't, oh, oh. This game's a lot of fun, yeah. Soccer ball. Oh. How, how? Oh, the, they used the plane on me? Dude, this is crazy. Alright, so we're all like... A bomb, welcome on a Game of Life spinner. You got it. Chicken. Well, let's take out the giant first. Not the giant. Wait, wait. Airplane. There we go, finally. All right. Dynamite. All right, we're going to play the game of Life Spinner. It's a special thing I do on this channel. We're going to spin... All right, we're going to play Game of Life Spinner. A-Bomb wants us to spin the wheel. This is a real Japanese PS1 import controller. For the Game of Life Spinner. We're going to spin the wheel for A-Bomb. Here we go. Ready, set. Go, 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 go. Yellow. Wah, 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 wah. Boom. Waste points. Thank you for playing. A-Bomb. Welcome on in. Playing Karyotasi for the Sega Saturn. I win. All right, so this is the last round, it looks like. Let's go. Oh. 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 Dead. I lost. All right, so this round is a this round is a bust. Let's see who wins. Oh, 
giant girl one. All right, so we're gonna have to use a continue. Buzama,だね。メイクでもしてみたらどうだい? <laughs> Oh no, we lost. Alright, I gotta use a continue. Not a problem. The Winter Wonderland. Kick it. Right, let's use our special. Hold that A button down. Oh. There we go. That's one. Good stuff. All right, two more rounds. So check us to use your special right at the beginning. And then just like, go Rambo style, one of them. Kick it. Hey. Green hand or green haired guy, you go. Oh, jump. Oh, no, 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 no. Dead. Oh, fucking ice. The winner. I thought it was gonna say the the minner. The minor. The minner. Giant girl won't won. Go. Uh oh. Frozen. Why am I frozen? Oh no. It says kick it, not kick me. I think it says kick it. Because you got to kick. The winner. <laughs> or you can skip the, the dialogue at the end. Save some time. Go. Oh. Nope. Dead. I, the moment I got stunned, I'm like, oh, he's going for the, the fucking soccer ball. Done. Uh, giant one. Yeah, levels get really harder as you go. I'm gonna hit my start button. Let's see here. Come on, robot. Do your magic. Nope. nope. There we go. Nope. Nope. Kick. There we go. Nice. Two wins. One more. The ice. Kick it. A button. Boom. I'm going to blow up. Crap. Oh. oh, fucking soccer ball. Damn it. Johnny Mac attack, we'll come on in. Cheers. What's going on? Happy Saturn Day. Playing Japanese Sega Saturn games tonight. Alright, we're almost full count here. It's a weird game we're playing tonight. Curio Tassi. A button. Nope, I missed. Nice. Kick. Nice. I win. Ding ding. Hell yeah. So Kyrio Tassi, this game we're playing is like Smash Brothers, where you gotta knock your opponents off, be the last man standing sort of deal. It's pretty good. It's ahead of its time. So, it's really good. Level seven of nine. That's what this one's all about. <clears throat> volcanoes. It's just called volcanoes. Nice. Mm. Nice. I win. Ding, ding, ding. The winner. 
Next level. Kick it. Oh, I like ball kick. Oh, solid snakes over there. Solid Snake is in this game. Before Solid, before Smash Brothers put him in there. Done. Ding, ding, ding. That's two. We got one more. Kick it. Nope, nope, I lost that one. Oh, oh. Dead. Yep, pure gold indeed. Like Sagata Sanshira. Toda. Alright, so we lost one. It's the hot scientist chick. Let's take let's take her out. Nope. Solid snake. Over here. Oh. Ghost. There we go. I win. Yeah, Volcanoes is easy level for sure. <clears throat> the winner. All right. The winner. One minute, 10 seconds. Fastest clear time. We're going to level eight, and then it's the final level. Let's go. Level eight. What could this be? <clears throat> the meteor. Oh, it's invisible. Hot scientist check. Oh. Uh oh. Wait, where'd I go? Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm not a robot. I'm 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 like I'm I'm not a robot. I got feet. I got human feet. Done. No, nope, no. Nope. Levels just called meteors. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bomb. Nope. Dead. Okay, Rhoda, Rhoda from the show. Rhoda, Rhoda. Alright, let's try this again. Kick it. Should I take out this panda bear looking thing? Yep, panda bear going out. Panda bear ain't going out. Kick the panda bear. Kick the girl. Oh, meteor. So she can kick multiple times. Oh. When I'm down, that's her power. Boom. There we go. Take that. Boom. Nice. Good shit. This character is a human Oddish. The, oh, oh, the... the Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that is, there is an Oddish there. That's Oddish top left. It is Oddish. I was calling him a carrot. Take the carrot. Oddish. You know, it's another good game, too. This game called Vat Lava. Vat LVA. That's uh, another good Japanese exclusive. If you like uh, brawlers. Kind of like uh, Twisted Metal, but in 2D. That's another good one. Battle Royale style. Dead. Uh, rat. Oddish one. Kick it.
Take that, Oddish. Hey, thanks for the fall. Appreciate it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Run out of the way. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This pan is kicking my ass, literally. No. Come on, jump out of the way. Boom. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no! Jump. There we go. That's one dead. Damn it. <sighs> Bottom right one. This panda bear sucks. Karate Saturn man. <laughs> yeah. Kick it. Get the girl. Girl and the panda. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Dead. Oh. Ran down. Oh. Uh oh. Panda. Me and the panda. Me and the panda. Ooh, he's got claws. Oh, oh, I timed it wrong. Nope. Got him. That's two. You're in the kitchen. All I can hear is booba booba. <laughs> That's what it is. All right, two. Two down. We got one more. Kick it. Let's see here. Pull that A button. Nope. Nope. Jump out of the... Jump out of... Oh, I have feet. I have the Oddish feet now. We all have Oddish feet. I can't tell which which person. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, it's the panda bear versus the girl. Uka, Uba, Uba. <laughs> Panda, Panda knows what he wants. A little mischievous panda. Let's see her. Right, I'm going after the panda. Or the girl. There we go. Nope. That's easier said than done. Oh. Me versus the Oddish. Uh -oh. Oddish can kick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. I win. Ding, ding, ding. Final level. I think it's the final level. Cool. Final level. Level nine. I think this is the final boss. Or I don't know if it's a brawler level. Master or Kirio? There we go. Let's go. One. One. Gonna keep hitting the dragon. No, you don't kick the dragon. Two. One. Jump. Come on, kick it out of him. Boom. I missed. Died. 
One. No. Nope. Oh, that bottom left is my health, not the not the bosses. Nope. Dead. Run out of help, the, the dragon just knocks you off. All right, so the trick with this boss is you gotta keep kicking the soccer ball at it. I remember this being a tough level. Start. Master Curio. Get that. Oh, oh. Fucking dragon. Oh, come on, you fucking dragon. <sighs> fucking annoying. And I missed. What was all that for? I'm gonna wait for this dragon to get around. One. Two of my health bars left. Two. Dead. No. Dead. One. No. Three. All right. I definitely am not going to get it, but it's worth trying to see what his pattern's like. I think he's going to jump at me. Got him again. getting a little bit better that time I think you gotta hit him like 10 times or something with the beach ball and it gets harder each time master of Kiro let's see beach ball appears one get that away I'll kick him okay just keep him when he's down Something's wrong with those wings. You're right. They're glitched. Nope. Can't jump over the fire either. Oh. Fucking asshole. Come on, get it. And I miss. Three health, three hearts. This way. Dead. Get the beach ball. Kick him. There we go. That's two. Right, he's going to get up again. Now he's going to, like, jump at me. One, two, and there's the jump. One, two, and then that's it. And a miss. One, two. 
One. Oh, that's three. Can't see behind. Yeah, I can't control the camera. Right, is he gonna come out? One, two, two. One, two. Oh. One, oh, dead. Tip dead. Yep, I'm out of heart. That's why he's gonna knock me right off. Okay, so I noticed when you hit him, he repeats the pattern. He does it twice and he goes to the next form. So, first two, he shoots fire. The second form, he bites and jumps at you. So, I don't know what the third form is. Alright, continue. Continue. C continue. It wouldn't, it wouldn't register my start button. Master Akira. Alright, let's see. Are we here? Fire. Right, let's see. Oh. Just grabbing the freaking beach balls is annoying. That's one. Right, just stay on the, the bottom here. Nope. Grab the beach ball. Grab it. Grab it. Two. And it didn't register. One. Okay, come on. Beach ball. Two. And that didn't fucking work. I'm gonna grab the beach ball. Fucking bit me. Fucking asshole. One. There you go. Got him. Got like three, three uh, hearts of uh, health there. All right, now he's gonna like. Yeah, now he's gonna change up his attack pattern here. One, two, jump. One, two, jump. One, two, and then he stays there. I'm gonna grab it, and I'm gonna run away. One, oh, fuck. 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 Yeah, just stop all over me. Why don't you, Mr. Fucking Dragon? There you go, you fucking asshole. Mr. Dragon. Pissing me off here, man. Here we go. Master of Kirio. Let's stand back. Go. Nope. And it didn't fucking register. I'm just gonna run and jump. Yeah, this is pointless. Pointless. Pointless to play that whole entire level again. Get. I gotta get the, the soccer ball. Run away with it. And then hit him. That's one. Take damage. One, stay down here. Two, run away. Stand back. All right. Get a look at me. One, two, and he's gonna jump. One, two, and he's gonna jump. One, two, oh. One, got three, three hearts. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Get it. Gotta get him one more time. One, oh. one, two. One, two. One, two. All right, he just stays there. Uh oh. And I'm stuck. And it didn't register. Fucking bullshit. One. One, two. And it appears. One, two. Oh. One, two. There you go. Run away, run away, run away. 
That's two. We got two hearts. All right, now I think this is the last form, or there's probably two more. All right, let's see what's the next form. One. Then he. Oh, then he does the two. Well, ah, oh, fuck. And then I'm dead. Nope. Okay, so second form, he shoots fire and he does a body slam. And then you have to jump when he lands. Oh. That's annoying. That's the second form. It does a, a jump, a, bo a fires, body slam. Okay. Hardest part is like getting the first, getting the ball away from him. Yeah, and I fucking, ugh, fucking hate that shit. Fuck. Oh! Jump off. No, just fucking fall off. There we go. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I remember this boss being a pain in the ass last time I played this game last year. Stand back. Look at him. Go that way. He tries biting you. He tries to bite you again. He, like butts, he bites you. you. Get close to him, he bites. Grab it. One. Stand back. Okay, cool. Got him without taking a hit. That's that's good news. Just gotta be patient. Close one. He's gonna bite. Two. Run away. Took one hit. Now he's gonna do the where he bites and jumps at you. That part could be a little tricky. He's gonna come right at me. One, two, jump. One, two, jump. One, two, up. Oh. Run, 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 run. Grab it. No. <sighs> Fuck. And I'm stuck. Fuck. He's like teabagging me. Fucking asshole, he just like tea eh, like, he loves the tea bag. No. Nope. Fucking asshole, boss. Kick him. Yep, oh, dead. What an asshole. Continue. Okay. Master of Kiro. One. Cool. Alright, stand here. It's these little breaks in between too when he's when he's down. Right, he's gonna come over here. Kick him. Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fold it. Good to him. Good. Okay. Didn't take a hit. He gets up. One, two, jump. One, two, jump. One. Still the ball. Two. Oh, fuck, I missed. Damn it. Oh, dead. One, two. One, two. That's one. Right, actually, two. Or three, whatever. All right. 
feeling that soccer ball or beach ball is like really hard. Go around. One, two, jump. One, two, jump. One, two, jump. Jump, one, two, jump, one, two. Boom! All right, third form. Okay. So he's gonna shoot fire and then do a body slam. It's a big giant laser. One. It's a giant laser. <laughs> All right, hang in there. It's a giant laser. Uh oh. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get him. Didn't count. Got him. Oh, I beat it. Done. We beat it. Done. <laughs> we beat it. Done. I was done with that freaking boss. Okay. We beat Kirotasi. Good game. On a single heart. Hey, Mask Ranger. Come on in. Yay! Alright. It gets tricky. Thanks for the GG's, Perp and Gold. Welcome on in, Perp and Gold. Hey, Perp and Gold. Done. Sit back. Watch the ending. Dragon lived. No, he's alive. He ran away. And it just said, does it say the end or it's, no, it just says Karyotasi again. Thanks to the GGs, is Rat, is Oddish? Is the weird girl? Giant girl? Gypsy girl? No hard mode secret ending? I don't know. Wait, Margaret, is there, is there one? I must know. We played on normal mode. Never seen this game? I streamed it last year once. This time I had a little bit better luck with it. <sighs> it's good to revisit games, you know? Just because you play it once doesn't mean you should play it again. Kiss, now on sale. Oh, a mom and her child. Horny, the horn girl. Oh, she's getting drunk. Next to that Oddish. There's the robot we played as. Kick that. Kick that. 
All right, that was Karyotasi. What we got next? Nice little relaxing puzzle game. That's her ending. The end. That's the robot ending. Put her name in. Nice. That's her ending. Cool. Boom, 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 boom. Oh wait, that was that was the first one we played it. Masuda Corporation. Does it play the same end, uh, intro every time, or is it is it a different one? If it plays the same intro, then we've already seen this. Yeah, I think we saw this already. It's the eagle. Drop the flyers all over the place. I guess, they, yeah, it's the eagle dropping the flyers. Carnival. Kiro Carnival. Yeah, we, we watched this already. Yep, the broom. Okay, cool. Alrighty, Rue. So that was Katerio Tossi. Next game we're going to play is Noon. New type action game. So let's pop that in next. Noon. Da -da 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 All right, new tape action game. Put this uh, protective case over it. For some reason, my game came with a protective case. So I just keep putting it over it for some reason. All right, noon. It's technically past midnight, so it's it's noon. Makes sense. It's noon somewhere. Somewhere in the world. Maybe Japan. All right. Checking disc format. Start it up. Noon. Hmm. Uh, cartridge ran, please. Check the audio out. Micro cabin. Project Team Immortal. Noon. Hmm. Main game mode. I'll put this on easy. Easy it is. Give it a, a try here. So A is attack, B is special attack, L and R is turn. Okay. All right, pretty cool graphics here. I think Japan is 17 hours ahead, PST. It's noon somewhere. Is it noon anywhere in the world right now? Uh, Remora. Gaki Maru Color Jirai Rigamine Be a Jera Jerai Jera Jerai Londro Hmm I've never been able to figure out this game, but we'll we'll see how it works. So it's a puzzle game. I guess it's like a like a Bomberman type of game, but not really. It's been like it's been a long time since I played this one, so I might not even know what. It, like last time I played this was 2020. Jera Ire versus Color Colory. Cool. Skipping the story because I can't understand. Ooh, I like that graphic there with the, the square. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Let's see here. Get the... Okay, so you get the... Oh. Okay, let's see here. So you get the... Ooh. 
Oh, he, they're pushing? Okay, hold on, this is weird. Oh, this game. Oh, Varga, you know what this is? Huh. Stock count. So you gotta push the, oh, you gotta push the green. Okay, she's pushing the blue there. Huh. Score. Bombs. Okay, those bombs are not good. You can't let the, the, the player fill up with bombs, I think. Oh, what is that? What does that mean? Oh, she's tiny now? Oh, noon. We got noon. This is hard. One noon. I have no idea what, what noon does. I'm trying to learn. Can't let your the the opponent's player fill up with um, those bomb looking things. Let's see here. Uh oh. Oh. That's what I think. Okay, so they fill up with the bomb looking things. That's how you know. That's how you lose a round. It's very tricky. Try to. Oh, I'm tiny. Oh, the bomb. Oh, you know what? If I push the black thingies in the opponent's box, does that do anything? Count is at two. If you make the count go... One noon. Oh. Kick. Bomb. Uh, I have no idea. We'll find out very soon. A oh, three noon. Whenever you get noon, the bombs go on the other side. We're learning how to play this. Uh oh. Uh, I'm dead. I lost. Remember seeing it last time I streamed it. Action puzzle game. So she, okay, so color one. So you have to get the bomb looking things uh, on the opponent's screen, and then the countdown goes down. The real question is, how do you make them appear? So let's see, brown must mean something. So when you squash them, you get, you get points. Rain okay, when you hit the rainbow, it means something. All right, that's a reversal. I'm trying to... Okay, maybe I have to stack these up and squash them. And that does something. Gives you a brown. Crap. Kick. Kick! Get out of my fucking way, you fucking thing! I'm trying to fucking squish something here. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to learn how to play the game. Count ten. Nope. Oh. Bomb. Ooh. 
There we go. Three noon. Okay, so you, the more rainbow things you stack in there, that does something. Uh, bomb. Come on, get up. Oh, when I pick up the bomb thing. Ooh. You pick up the bomb thing. That's just not good. Ooh. Bomb. Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Bomb. Two bombs. Not understanding. Okay, I'm gonna go to the tutorial screen. Let's see what the tutorial screen says. It probably is all in Japanese, but maybe it'll it'll help me understand how to play this. Tutorial, where are ya? Tutorial. Maybe it'll like show me some examples what to do here. Tutorial. Did I just hit... S I skipped the tutorial, didn't I? I just skipped the fucking tutorial. Okay, hold on. Gotta hit A. Alright, can't hit the start button at all. Alright, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Show player. Let's get a translator up. Alright, just wait there. Oh, you fucking went away! I can't fucking translate! I can't fucking translate. Okay, release the thing. Boom. Translate. Now on, two of us will dig into how to play this game. Okay. Hide. What are, wait, what are... Okay, hold on. Player. Uh, good luck translating this game with this translator. I have a check zone. When the check zone is filled, the countdown comes down. When the check zone is filled... Alright, she's gonna explain what noon is. Let now I'm issuing noon earlier than usual because of my urgency. Something about 10. The countdown is at 10. Countdown is at 10. Count up to 10 when counted down that pre player loses. So it's a cutscene, this tutorial. Noon. Uh, noon can be also pushed and moved like this. However, it is different in the direction you want to move. A and C. Okay, let's just sit back and watch the cutscene. You push the player. Noon. So when you push the, the ball towards your opponent, <laughs> so you get pushed towards the the balls. That's f okay. AC is action button. Trying to understand how to play noon without knowing Japanese. Noon. Noon. Just scream noon randomly. It's like Uno. Just scream Uno randomly and you win. Noon. Something about the number three. Ah, fuck. I need to get that text hooker program working. Okay, so three balls, three blue balls mean action button. If you oh, so if you punch all three, that okay, you gotta punch all three in a row. It makes those bombs appear. Get them in a row. Okay, so if you punch the button, 
the, the, the balls in like a combo, they appear in the opponent's area. But if you keep, oh, so you can't punch the bombs, you just move them out of the way. Okay. Noon three. So okay. So the number three is is tricky, and that makes sense because I think the 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 wild card, the rainbow is the wild card. So punch push those out of the way. Noon. Very complicated action game. But I think we got it down the summer. Right. Noon 4, if you put 4 up, what does 4 do? Oh, that's worth 4. That's a noon. Rainbow noon. That's worth 1 noon. Two noon, one noon. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is funny. This this whole cutscene tells you how to play the game. A four noon. Four in a row. Boom. One noon. Boom. Punch the, the rainbow when it borders the the balls. It, it, it creates a noon. That's one noon. One noon. Now he's getting too many. Yep. He's angry. He's going to lose. ゲージいっぱいに溜まると必殺技ボタンで必殺技が使えるぜ。風を。風を。お。ハリーディーダ。こんな時に兄さんがいてくれたら。ヒーズでスペシャル。ハ、アイテム。きっと兄さんが助け
pushing the yellows out of the way. Stealing my freaking greens, are we? That's not how we're gonna do this. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm stunned. Boom. One noon. I got a noon. Oh, there you go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Just gonna run out of time. Boom. Oh, shit. I understand how to play though. Remy, I lost. So you're looking for stacks. Round two, fight. I was winning though at one point. Green. Oh, got one out. That's one noon. Punch. Blue. Oh, what the hell? Oh, she flashed. Oh, crap. There we go. Got one created. Oh. Got another there. Oh, why am I why am I helping her? Don't do that. There we go. Get that out of the way. Crap. Oh, yellow. Get that flash. There you go. Oh, screwed up. Come on, get up. Get up, Remy Mora. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, uh, crap. Another noon. Punch. Kick, kick. Oh no, why'd I do that? Bomb. Yellow. Oh, hang on. Boom. Ooh, nice. Yellow. Boom! There we go. Just got the countdown. Ooh. Got the countdown now. Boom. Boom. One, she's got the two countdown. 
Boom, one, did it, I win. There we go, I figured out how to do a good soundtrack. Trump boy, welcome on in, how you doing? I just found out how to play this game. It actually gets good once you figure out how to play. Play. Let's see here. Uh, green. Kick. No. Punch. Give me my give me my freaking uh oh. Oh. Kick. Ah. Punch. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. No. Die, you asshole. You stole my fucking noon. She stole my noon. What a what a what a B word. Uh oh. Ah. She stole my noon. Wait. Can I stack these up? Ooh, I stole her noon. Take that. Take that noon. Boom. Wild card. Wild card. Yeehaw. Boom. Big wild card right there. Take those out. Wears me out for a little bit. Uh oh. Ah. Punch. Uh oh. There we go. Give her a noon. Uh-oh. Yellow. Uh-oh. Ten. Boom. Yellow. Uh-oh. Push. Right in there. There we go. That's a good combo right there. Boom, I win. Look at that. Clock rave. Trump boy wants a clock rave. Did it. And we beat it on a clock rave. Let's do a clock rave. Get a clock. Look, pause screen here. It's pretty good. That's uh, we're the winner. Alright, let's get a clock ready. Where's my YouTube? Clock. Let's see. Clock rave, everybody, look at that. Whoa, Trump boy, thanks for redeeming. Clock rave. Yeah. And then I continue the game with the soundtrack over the game. Just like that. Oh, blows rainbows, this guy. This guy loves the rainbows. Nope. 
crap. What an asshole. Redeeming clock rave. Back to the game. Alright, cool. Where am I? There we go. Uh-oh. 
crap. Ugh. Hang on. Boom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. did a reversal. Oh, nice. Yeah, he did a reversal. Wait. He was going for the reversal the whole time. Uh-oh. Now I'm done. Now the countdown's down. That was his plan all along. Tiny. Uh-oh. Oh. Come on, get up. Boom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm gonna fucking die. Uh-oh. These fucking sumo guys fucking, fucking my shit up. Good stuff. All right, easy peasy. That's round two. That was easy. Let's see what round three is like. <sighs> Mizuki. Ooh. Suki. <laughs> Versus. Let's see here. Oh, this is a boss. This is a boss fight. All right, let's see here. How the boss fight goes down. Boss fights. All right, so you gotta take a green. Ooh. Oh, okay, you can't get it. Oh, it just, it just freezes you in place. All right, get up. Oh, that was a nice line right there. Yep, that's yep. Noon. That's how you do it. Hang on. Something up here there. Boom. Noon. Oh, more noon. Some cool ass, uh. This is cool. This is cool once you figure out how to play. There we go. Uh oh. Get up. Get up. Get up. I'm screwed. Uh oh. I'm screwed. There you go. Oh, not really. Shoot! Got him. Easy peasy. That's how you beat the boss. Yeah. Nice. Remora. That's a cool boss fight. Alright.
Good stuff. Winner. Nice. All right, so that's two, two opponents and a boss. Let's see what we got next. All right, let's see. It's a mirror match. Mirror match. Fight. Cool. All right, hold on. Let's get her yellow. Nope. Nope, she's still on mine. Oh, no, no. <sighs> Fuck. Nope. Boom, that's four noon. Here we go. Oh. oh, I just exploded. Interesting game, yeah. This is, uh, quite weird game choice. Oh. Oh, she stole my noon. Noons away. Oh, there we go. Oh, snap. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, I could, I could. Oh, nice row of noons there. Ten. My noons. Take it. No, you're not stealing my noon, lady. That's not how it works. Does that count as a noon? Oh, she's, oh, nice. She almost had a three. I won. All right, let's get another one. Noon. Okay. Round two. This is actually a fun game. Now I know how to play. Let's see. That. Oh. Boom. That's a noon. I'm little. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just gonna just going for my rainbows. Can't let that happen. One, two, three, noon. Oh. Okay. Uh oh. I'm tiny. Can I still get my noons? Of course I could. About to get one right now. Boom. Oh, you screwed, lady. Boom. Right there. Yeah, got her. Nice. We win. Good stuff. Cool. Two wins. Get three opponents down. Nice. All right. We're, we're learning how to play here. We got this.
So I guess every two matches is a boss fight. Alright, what's this? Riga mine. Let's go. Riga mine. Versus. Here we go. Huh. Round one. Fight. Right, hold on. Oh, how'd she do that? Uh oh, 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 ah, she stole my noon. Really stole my noon. Fucked up. Seconds, eight seconds. Ooh, she thundered. Uh oh. Oh, she used her thunder. Oh, thunder. Oh, shit. She has, like, powers. Thunder and lightning powers. Alright, I lost one. Try another one. Let's see here. Sheets. That was a battle. We got it. So now we're tied. Winner. Rimi Mura. Remora. Remoria. Okay. Cool. Let's see if we can get this one. Fight. There we go. Yellows. Green. 
green seem to be good. Oh crap. Oh, stole my noon. Get up, get up. Damn it, she stole my noons. Oh, she's kicking, no, nope. she stole my noon again. Boom. One noon. Uh-oh. Nope. Bomb. Soul up. Come on, blow it all up. Oh. No, 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 no. It's gonna steal my fucking noon. Not again. No, nope. I'll reversal. Okay, sure, I'll reverse it. Asshole, get up. Ah, fuck. Dead. Oh, fucking B word. Got me with the loser ring right, I'm gonna continue one time. One time. One time. Game over. One effing time. That's some bullshit. I like kept getting shocked by the, the lightning. Try this again. Let's go. Hmm. Wait. Where you at? Green. Up. Uh. No, I'm just gonna steal my yep and do it. Oh no! Ah, fuck! Punch! There, that's one noon. Oh, 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 done. Boom. Great. Uh-oh. Ah, come on, I'm fucking still nope, just gonna take it. It's like the AI could no knows my move here and knows how to counteract. Dead. AI's cheat. Oh, there we go. Okay, hang on. That way. Uh oh. Boom. Uh oh. Come on, push it all out. Noon.
Please. Oh, lightning. One. I lost. Ugh. This is a hard game. It gets, it starts, it starts pretty simple, and then it, this AI just like fucks you over completely. All right. Punch. Uh oh. How come, how come this character can use lightning and I can't use lightning? I can punch. What's this? Why am I? Why am I frozen all of a sudden? Why do I get stunned? Boom! She stole my noon. Oh man! Boom! She's gonna steal my noon. Boom! Boom! There we go. Questions unanswered. Uh oh. Nope. And she's gonna steal my noon. I knew it. Why is she clearing my stuff? I won by default. I slipped, I flipped it. Wait, round three fight. I have one more. Uh oh, she keeps using her special. No, ah, she's gonna use the fucking noon on me, damn it. 
keeps fucking shocking me. Uh. Gonna steal my freaking rainbows and I'm dead. Oh, you piece of shit. Fuck. This game is fucking cheating. Unbelievable. I'm dead. Fucking bitch. Alright, we're done with this game. Going. We're playing uh, Rabbit next. Fuck that. Alright. Done with noon. We're playing rabbit next. Oh, I can't get pissed off that early in a game. <laughs> Alright, interesting game, but it will piss you off. Oh. Rabbit time. Alright, following game we're going to play is a fighting game called Rabbits. But actually, you know what? I think I'm going to run to the restroom. We'll take a quick break. So, uh, be right back. I'm going to run an, I'm going to run an ad so you guys don't get pre-rolls. Be right back. I'm back. All right. Took a chill pill. Realized, you know, it's just a game. I used language I probably shouldn't have used, but it's a game. 
Parp and Gold, thank you for the gift sub to Varga. Varga, enjoy those sweet emotes. Uh, let's continue. Yes. So now we're going to play a fighting game called Rabbit. 2D fighting game. Should be good. Uh, but Noon? Now I know how to play Noon. It's addicting. It's uh, hard. Never been able to finish it. But one day I'll finish it. Ooh. Anime. 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 start i think the last time i played this game i got legitimately stuck let's play this on x they spell expert wrong it says x part i'm gonna play this on easy because i don't want to like mess up i don't get stuck in the middle of it and have to rage quit again so we'll play this on easy so that's the next game we're gonna play a little rabbit so let's see, where's our Hadouken? We have Wu Ling, Tianren, Rex, Yulan, Little Eddie, Huan, uh, Igith, Jakku. Wu Ling it is. We'll do normal. Ooh, they're all rabbits. Interesting. Okay. All right. This isn't alcohol, by the way. This is a glass of Coca-Cola in a Jack Daniels glass. I used to drink Jack Daniels, but not anymore. Get ready. Get ready. Fight. What's your, like your typical Street Fighter-ish clone here? It's pretty cool. You got your... Yeah, I gotta say, it might, it might even be like a Darkstalkers type of game, too. Has like that uh, mythical creature um, type element to it. So, KO. Beast Force. Well done. Mm. Get ready. Get ready. Fight. Three hit. So sometimes it wants to be smooth. Most of the time it's a little choppy. It's got like that Way of the Warrior 3DO feel to it. Cool. Got him. Counter. KO. Well done. Mm. It's, in, it's in Japanese. I wonder if there's a way to put the game in English. Some some of these fighting games have cheat codes in them. Uh, rabbits. Saturn. Zooming mode. Oh, there's just zooming options. Okay, so there's no uh, no English mode. So I'll just say, you have to defeat Shen Long to stand a chance. Seems to be fair. Alright, here we go. Alright. Next character is... Little Eddie. <laughs> Little Eddie. <laughs> This is like a like a zip up uh, one piece bathing suit zip down, revealing his gut. <laughs> Little Eddie. Get ready. Get ready. Fight. Come on. A carry. Oh, 
Boom. Got him. Well, that's a perfect. KO. Well done. Get ready. Fight. Go. Oh, come on. Little Eddie. Oh. Boom. Almost perfect. KO. Well done. Now loading. Alrighty, Rue. Rex. I play a guy named Rex next. Alright, I'm down. Down for Rex. Hmm. Get ready, fight. Get ready, fight. Ooh. Use the super already. Nice. Might have made the game a little too easy, putting it on easy, but that's okay. It's nice to see this game. I rarely get to play it, so. Last time I played it on normal, though, I was I was legitimately stuck on like the final stages, though. I like a good fighter, but if it's too easy, I gotta change up the difficulty, but. Oh, excuse me. I just hate it when you play a game on normal. It's and it's you know goes well to get to the final boss and you're just like stuck. Like where did the game just does a 180 on you, and it, and it just like totally blows. So okay. Alright, what do we got next? Egith. Egith? Egith. 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 Alright. Hmm. Get ready. Fight! Oi. Punch. There you go. Kick. Kick, punch, it's all in the mind. Beast Force. Like the little rabbit in the background. <laughs> Just like, alright, we're ready to fight. Well done. Get ready, fight. Do I have a high jump in this game like in Marvel? I don't know about a high jump. Okay. Ooh, he shoots like spirit, spirit carrots at it. <laughs> at the, the guy. Hadouken with carrots. I love it. Uh-oh. Wolf? There we go. Okay. 
hell? Nice. Well done. All right. Now loading. 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 Now loading. Yulan. Ulan. Yulan. Get ready. Fight. Oops. Fox versus rabbit. Oop. She's got the Chun Li kicks. Oh, I got the Chun Li kicks. That's my that's my uh, special move, I guess. Six hit. There you go. Easy peasy. Excuse me, KO. Well done. Get ready. Ready, fight. Boom. Yeah, I'm just cheesing out the other opponent here. Just gotta keep doing this. Yep, six hit. Easy. KO. Yep, this game might be a little too easy, but I don't want to speak soon. I'm, I'm pretty sure when I get to the final boss, it's gonna change. It's last time I streamed this, it... It got hard. New load, now loading. Mm. We got three to go. Tian Ren. All right, Tian Ren. Let's go. Loading time just really suck. Get ready. Get ready. Fight. Ready, fight. Uh -oh. Easy peasy. Little too easy peasy. Well done. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I wish this game had an English port to see what the story is all about. It's interesting. Seems to be it's like, like Chinese themed. So. 
Like the spirits and stuff. I know what you call that. All right. Get ready. Get ready. Fight. Jack Ho. Yeah. Show me that that carrot. Done. KO. KO. Well done. Get ready, ready, go, fight. There we go. Up, oh, Fox Mode. one mirror match here we go looks like that girl's like in love with the uh that guy he she's like hugging him and stuff and he's embarrassed get ready, get ready fight Kick. Boom. Easy peasy. done but the final one I, or is there a final final boss we'll find out Let's see if we could do those kicks on him. I like the sprite work and the dynamic camera zooming in and out. Yeah, it's a really good game, DRM. It reminds me of The Way of the Warrior for the 3DO. Good game. Speaking of 3DO, we're going to play a game that was on the 3DO next. Road Rash. That's... 
Road Rash on the Sega Saturn. Have not played it on here yet. I was always skeptical about playing it because of the copyrighted music, but I think we're gonna be okay. Worst case scenario, it just gets muted. According to the cheat codes, if you beat the game with any character, you get zooming options. So I guess we'll find out what that is very soon. Zooming options. Get ready, fight! Yep, I got this. Boom! Easy peasy. Flickering shadows are quite something, yeah. What's up, Scarface? How you doing? Well, come on in. Happy Sega Saturn Day. Playing some Japanese imports tonight. Doing well? Cool, that's good to hear. I guess this is our ending. I guess we'll find out what this uh, zooming options mode is very soon. Nikki Funky, welcome on in. How you doing? I'm so happy we got to raid you last night, finally. How you doing? I'm doing great. So happy we got to raid you. Did you beat Mario, Mario last night? I, I uh, couldn't catch the whole stream. I just sort of like passed out in bed afterwards. But it was. I'm so happy I got to raid you finally. Hope it. Hope you're doing well. Ching. Thank you so much for that. It meant a lot. You do not have a list. Your mic was messed. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. No, nah, it's all good. Let's see. I gotta put my name in. Claw. Didn't get to the castle, but you grinded out at eight one eight three as possible. Yeah, think about eight one to eight three. I think around eight two. You could just keep getting a one up over and over again. So, oh, she's going grocery shopping. Huh. Uh, you could just keep getting like the same one up over and over again. So, good way to practice. But you'll get there, I'm pretty sure. Spirit of the Day Man. Gambling. Welcome on in, Day Man. Right, this fighting game was a little too damn easy, but that's all right. It was better than playing fucking noon earlier, this game. I rage quit hard on it. The one up is your save to have uh, any hopes. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. I'm doing great. Doing great. We're uh, playing some Saturn imports tonight. Uh, we started off with a uh, shmup called Dodon Pachi. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's a bullet hell. Then we played this uh, 3D action game called Kyrio Tossi. Uh, it's pretty cool. Reminded me of Smash Brothers. Then we played this weird puzzle action platforming game. Not not platforming. It's like it was like a fighter slash puzzle game called Noon, and I rage quit hard on it because it was pretty tough. And we just finished up Rabbit. So now we're gonna play a game called Road Rash. We're gonna play Road Rash after this. 
So that's that's gonna be good. Mm -mm -mm. I like it when uh, music just has somebody going, ah, 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 all EAV staff. Atlanta Electronic Arts Victor, that's what that stands for. That's the their Japan division, Victor. What game is next? We're going to play Road Rash, Elser. Never, never streamed Road Rash before. I pulled it out. I'm like, you know what? We'll just mute the the copyrighted music. I have a button on my stream deck that will will mute the music on the fly. And if I don't hear, I don't hear the copyrighted music, we're we'll unmute it. I listen to the Velvet Room music of Persona. Oh, is that all Oz as well? Electronic Arts. Rash yeah, Nikki, thanks for the hundred biddies. This is a different intro. Elster wants to see two random retro items, three random retro items, in in, in, in arm's reach. All right, I guess we could take a break and take a look at the random retro items. All right, let's go to the options menu really quick. I said I had a zoom option. Oh, so we could change the zoom options. Hundred percent, seventy-five percent. It's kind of lame. Oh, did it just freeze? Weird. Okay, let's show off some random retro items. Uh, what can we show off today that's random and or retro? Um, hmm. I put some... Thing is, I put a lot of stuff away. I was cleaning up the room a little bit. Um, I showed... Wait. Did I show this off? Home Alone? Home Alone on the Japanese PS2. I, sh I don't think I showed this off. Home Alone for the Japanese... Not the Japanese PS2. The European PAL PS2 exclusive Home Alone. I keep forgetting to stream at, stream this game. I really want to play this. Home Alone 2. Home Alone... Not Home Alone 2. Just Home Alone. PAL PS2 exclusive. Peggy... Peggy 3 Plus. The most jankiest random retro item ever. It's it's so bad. It's not even based off of the actual um actual movie at all. Uh it's like its own game. Wonder if the flickering on the normal shadow looks like on an interlace display. It probably looks proper cuz interlace does like that rapid vibration to like make it look like something that it's not. So yeah, so that's item number 1. Item number 2. What can we show off here? Um, hmm. I could show off. So random. What's the game about? It's, I, uh, I think, you know, I've seen footage online. I think it's like a top down 3d, um, game where you, it's like Pac-Man style, but it's like in 3d, it's like top down third person. And I guess you have to like run away. Let's see, choose to play as four clever kids, Kevin, Kelly, Carl, and Carly, as you try to outwit the crafty crooks. <laughs> okay. Use anything from a bowling ball to a pet tarantula to scare the burglars away. Okay. Play with a friend and take out the troublesome thieves together. Oh, so it's a two-player game. Interesting. Very interesting. Hold on. Let's open up the manual. Anything... It's a compact disc, too. Okay, there's not much in the manual. It's a two-player game. Okay, so these are the these are the villains. You got um you got Harry, Ernest, Vinny, Marv, Mac and Bob. What kind of burglars are there? Like uh, like Harry and Marv. That's the two burglars. Hope someday I play this, and if you have already, let me know when to, where to watch. Yeah, true, definitely, definitely. CX alone has uh has Home Alone. Might get it next time. Nice. Okay, so these are the characters. Kevin, you got uh Kevin Kelly, Carly, and Carl. Kevin and Kelly, Carl and Carly. <laughs> have no idea. That's random retro item number one. Let's get random retro item number two. 
Um, okay, I don't think I showed this one off yet, but I just I just so happen to have it. It's an Atari Jaguar game. It's Pitfall, the Mayan Adventure, complete in blacks. Um, this game has been released for the Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, Sega CD, 32X. And uh, this version is based off of the 32X version. That's why this one is pretty sought after. Because the 32X version is pretty decent. It just runs like crap. It runs at like uh, 30 FPS instead of 60 FPS. And I think the Jaguar run version runs smoother. So yeah, there you have it. Pitfall, my adventure, item number two. Let's find item number three to show off. Um, what can we show off? That's random and or retro. Anything from here? Ooh. I'm just going to pull a random thing out. The Need for Speed Road and Track presents Longbox PS1 game. It's the, the very first Need for, Need for Speed game in a long box. And uh, I have it. This, act, this game actually came out on the... Well, never mind. <laughs> this game actually did come out on the Japanese Sega Saturn. It just wasn't called the Need for Speed. It was called uh, Nissan Nissan Driving Nissan Overdriving GT Racing. That's what it's called. Cody moment right there. <laughs> totally. Uh, but yeah, this did come out on the Japanese Saturn. It also came out on the U.S. Saturn, but it was called uh, Need for Speed. But uh, in Japan, it was called GT Racing. Uh, overdrive gt over overdrive nissan and it had cars licensed by nissan this version just used generic cars i, I guess had that on ps1 no low long black so yeah it's a very common game but yeah need for speed good stuff so we're gonna jump into a new game this time road rash let's pop this sucker in next road rash and i have to listen to this one hopefully hopefully we don't run into copyrighted music i want to see if my stream deck button uh works properly so i have to hit the game audio that mutes the audio and that unmutes okay cool that button works perfect road rash Fit oh yeah road rash Gotta mute, gotta mute the Rusty Cage Soundgarden uh, music at the beginning. So here we go. Must mute Road Rash. Okay, as soon as I hear anything that sounds copyrighted, I'm just gonna mute. Because <laughs> I know the in-game uh, audio is not copyrighted. Electronic Arts. My finger on the button here. EA. I think this is Electronic Arts Studios. Yep, EA Studios. This is a big production game here. Nope. No rusty cage. I'm here. Just pretend you're listening to Soundgarden's uh, "Rusty Cage." I'll I'll sing along to it, Joe. I'm gonna I'm gonna jam to the "Rusty Cage." Mm, there goes those cop cars. I think it's a instrumental version of Rusty Cage. Nope, it's vocals. There goes the Rusty Cage. Rusty Cage. Rusty Cage. I'm gonna break my. I'm gonna break my rusty cage. Oh no. I'm gonna break mine. I'm gonna break my rusty cage. I'm like Kieran when he when he mouths that off. Road rash. 
Okay. I think I'm gonna break my rusty cage. All right, let's see. Unmute. Oh, that might be copyrighted. Crap. Electronic Arts Studios presents Buzz Puppet Production. Dolby Surround. All right, let's see here. Mm -mm. Thrash mode, big game mode, restroom. Let's go to the restroom. I think I'll do thrash mode. Uh, race music. Oh, it's all in Japanese. All right, what does this say in Japanese on the top? Bah, 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 bah. I think there's a way to turn off the jukebox. Translate. Race music. Oh, it's just stereo mono. Okay. Uh, stereo. Back. Come on, back. Juke. No. Jukebox. Hammerhead. Uh. Oh, these are all, yeah, these are all copyrighted. Soundgarden, Rusty Cage. They got some good songs on here. All right. So the menu plays the copyrighted music. So let's just go right to the game. Okay, the city. Wait. The city. Here we go. This guy's got a, a bat. He's ready to clobber. All right, game start. Let's go. Luckily, the, the in-game music does not have uh, any copyrighted songs. So let's check this out. Get ready to race. There we go. Let's go. So you punch with C. A, what is A? A doesn't do nothing. X, Y, X, Y, Z doesn't do anything either. Cool. So it's just like the Road Rash on the Genesis. Just upgraded to like a 3D point of view third per oh crap and uh the sprites are you know they got 2d sprites as the the motorcycles and the cars but the actual uh track is in 3d oh i'm punching the cop oh that's gonna that's gonna get me a busted pretty soon oh crap dead uh-oh i'm busted all right i'm not busted good i'm gonna run back to my bike. I don't think I'm going to get first place, though. Come on. Get up. Go, 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 go. Butch. Alright, here we go. Oh. oh, go go that way. There we go. Oh, I just ran that guy over. Nice. All right, sixth place. Oh, go around this guy. Hmm. Get over to the left. Second place. We're about to get in first. Don't crash. Punch him. Come on. First place. There we go. Punch him. Come on. First place. Let's go. Yeah, first place. Oh, we got hit, ran over. All right, we're in first place. Just got to finish the track. Nice.
Hmm. Nope, don't. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Close. Oh, close. Oh, close, close, close. oh crap. O'Connor. We got the, the, the police. The police. Out riding the police. Seven point eight. Oh, crap. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Get the get the bike. Get the bike. Get the bike. Get the bike. Come on. I'm gonna get. Uh oh. Please don't. Uh, go 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 go. Uh oh. John. Oh. For, fuck. I got screwed over completely. Damn it. All right. Mute the audio. Damn. Had to get hit by the car at the very end. Uh-oh. I could probably play that. <laughs> Guy just tossed me a book. <laughs> okay. Oh. We're getting beat up now. Road mash, man. Road rash. Oh, I'm a winner. <laughs> but I, I didn't get first place. What the hell? Winner. <laughs> Second place, player one. City. I guess we'll go. I guess we'll play every track. I know this game's like really long. But we'll just play like one of every track and then we'll go to the next game. All right, let's go to Go Baby Go. Let's go. All right, second track. Here we go. One of every track sounds good, I think. We'll go to Metal Slug. That's the next game we're going to play. Get ready to race. Oh, uh, the country said going against Pearl. Max. Oh. Punch. Oh, crap. Sydney. Hmm. Hmm. John. Bose. John. Tristan, welcome on in. Punch, punch, kick, punch. It's all in the mind. Let's go. Ooh. All right, run first. Oh, we just took the left. It just split, like outrun. No warnings or anything, I don't think. All right, so we're taking the left path. Mike Jun. That's pretty cool. Splitting path. Wonder what the other way would have looked like. All right, let's go to the left here. For rapper the rapper. That's right. I need to go back and play Parappa. You know, last couple times I played like a rhythm game, I'd play like the Japanese Sega Saturn uh low budget version of Parappa. Um Young Rhythm it's called. Uh, low budget per rapper. But yeah, I actually have per rapper 
uh, on PS1. I have the Japanese version, and uh, it's pretty good. Kick punch, it's all in the mind. There we go, going first place. Pretty good series. All right. Hmm. Are you going to request Parappa? Nice. Go for it. No, go for it. I'll be I'll be I'll be ready for Parappa. I'll play uh I'll play Parappa and there was the, the same the same developers uh made another game called Vib Ribbon. It's a game that's in black and white, and uh, there's like this stick figure looking thing that moves to the beat of the music, and you have to hit a certain button to get through. And this guy, this girl, sticking her money down that guy's pants, and <laughs> I guess he, I guess she bought him. <laughs> that's what I like about Road Rash. It's the most random thing ever. <laughs> okay, cool. That's track number two. See, we did the city. I think that was Sierra Nevada. Uh, I'm keeping it muted because of the copyrighted music. City, Sierra Nevada, the peninsula. We'll do that next. Boom, let's go. All right, next track. The peninsula. Stick figure rhythm, yeah. Vib ribbon. It came out in Japan and Europe. The European version is a little bit harder to get because it's in English. Uh, Sony did release it uh, in America digitally on the PS3. Um, it was cool because you could actually, like, uh, if you had your own music CD... You could pop it in your PS1, and uh, it would generate the tracks based off of the uh, the music disc you put in. So that was another cool thing. Not a lot of games did that back then. This is the uh, the game that it comes with it only comes with like four songs. That's like the main game, but you take the whole game to a different level with uh, your own music. You could actually do that on the PS3 as well. That, that was pretty cool that they included that. Hmm. The peninsula. It's just another city up oh, dead. Block. 14 place. I'm not doing so well. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like how the the game like the the game menu, the menus in this game and the cutscenes have the copyrighted music, but all the end game music in the game is this like boring ass like MIDI track. I don't mind it because I could actually stream it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, don't go crash. Third place. Second place. Oh, okay, so this is a mix of like the city and like a countryside. Not too bad. Fourth place. First place. Look at that.
Nice. Cool. Whoa. Pull up on the gas and just go. Oh, you can use the L and R buttons to, like, sort of steer. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, that's all right. I'm still, still going. Yeah! First place. Good shit. All right. Was that the third track? Two more to go. Oh, I was going to play the same scene where the... Yeah, there's like I think there's like two different um, two different cutscenes that play if you win, and there's one if you get busted by the police. I'll try to play that just to see what it's like. Cool. This is the most nineties nineties looking cutscene I've ever seen. In a game. 95 that I think this came out in. Alright, let's see here. Winner. Let's do... Napa Valley. Yeah, we'll do Napa Valley next. 7.5. And then it's the last one. Boom. All right. Game loading. Get ready to race. Three, two, one, go. Pearl. Slim. 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 Oh. Sydney. Sven. Sven. place third place second place first punch him there we go up oh. split path here we go first place I like oh dead. I was about to say I like how the the heads up display on the bottom too. I'm just noticing um, it's very bland. Like I, I get like okay bottom left player one bottom right your opponent dead. Oh not dead. And I, I get that number on the left has to you know it's miles per hour and the right is the mileage. Like it would have been cool if they actually put up like a little dashboard like mimicking like the motorcycle but it said you just get like this boring generic graphic like this is this this was the sake of saturn come on
That would never fly nowadays. Yeah. Oh, the, um, the dat, you know, the heads up display. Yeah. Yeah. Like they always, Road Rash 2 looks better than us. Yeah. I agree. What's up, Cole? How you doing? Um, yeah, they, you know, I, I know people like say, like, um, Grand Theft Auto is like the most realistic racing game of all time. But tell me this in GTA, ooh, she kissed the screen. <laughs> um, GTA, do you ever stop and get gas? You don't. <laughs> Girls gone wild. <laughs> Okay, that's the that's the new winning winner screen I didn't get to see. Grills gone wild. <laughs> Not girls gone wild. Alright, this is the last track. What's this one called? Pacific Highway. I muted the 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 audio because uh copyrighted music in this game. Boom. In game is is not copyrighted, so as the last track, and then we're gonna jump into the next game, which is Metal Slug. Metal Slug is next. Metal Slug. Three, two, one, go. All right, last track, and here we go. Ooh, actual polygons on the left side of the screen there. Oh, the ocean's also poly. Yeah, it's Pacific Highway. This is like the Pacific Coast Highway in uh, California. Route 10. Or no, Route 1. Not 10. 1. I think it's Route 1. Route 1's the PCF. PCH. I actually drove on the uh, Pacific Coast Highway uh, in Malibu. That's a fun... That's a fun drive. I was going from... Uh, I was going from Santa Monica to, um, I had to go to Oxnard, California. GPS was telling me to take, yep, it's Route 1. GPS was telling me to take, um, oh, did I just, like, fall in the ocean? I fell in the ocean. I fell in the ocean. <laughs> Oh, wasted. Does that does it say wasted? <clears throat> Wet wrecked. I got wrecked. And Hogfather, welcome on in. Need for speed. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, don't. Mute it. Mute it. Mute it. There we go. Wrecked. I'm sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> uh... They get game over because of that. You need to buy a new front tire on your bike. Ah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I was saying I I I've been on the PCH in Malibu. Had to go. The GPS was telling me to take 101, which goes around the mountains. Um, but I was like, no, nah, I want to do the PCH. So from Santa Monica to Oxnard it took like an hour and a half. It was a little bit longer. Um, it was the best drive ever. Um, most scenic highway ever. And I, I took it both ways. And it was great. It was a great, uh, great drive. Highly recommend it if anyone's in Southern California and need to go from Oxnard to, uh, downtown LA. Maybe vice versa. I mean, it, it takes a while, but totally totally worth it for the views and scenic driving just be careful of falling rocks there's there's like a legit sign when you get closer to Oxnard uh, in Malibu that says watch out for falling rocks from the cliff I'm like uh oh the rocks gonna fall down <laughs> like in the video games boom Crap. 
Oh crap. Seventh place. Yeah, I don't really care about getting first place. As long as, I, as, long as I, we get to see this uh, track, it looks pretty cool. Alright. Not on the coast anymore. Spin out. Oh, going through the city. Yeah, this is not what the Pacific Coast Highway looks like. <laughs> Maybe it looks like it uh, in another location, but uh, not my uh, realistic Pacific Coast Highway experience. But I'll tell you what, in, in Grand Theft Auto V, they, they, uh, they got the tunnel off of uh, Route 10 going to Route 1 in LA, right, with the PCH. That looks very, si that looks absolutely similar. Reminds you of Rad Racer minus the dope ass music, yeah. Yeah, for some reason, the in game music, they got rid of the awesome. Oh, I wanna go left. I wanna go right. I wanna go right. Ah, uh, it took me left. Ah. Uh. Flute Wizard, welcome on in. How you doing? Happy Sega Saturn Day. Playing all these Japanese imports tonight. Oh, crap. There we go. Kick the car. All right, we did it. Nice. We did every track in the game. All right. I don't recall seeing this. Oh. All right, so he gives her the money. I see what happens here. She takes the money. Puts the money in his pants and then buys him. <laughs> Gotta love that. <laughs> Done. Whoa. Winner. Cool. All right. Winner. Now what happens? I think it just loops again. Yeah, it goes back to the city. Yep, that's it. All right, cool. It's like WWE cutscene on Roar. Yeah. Pool Boy for Hire. Welcome on in. Favorite games. What happens to the cash she threw on the ground? I have no idea. But you know what? Let's see what happens if you get busted. I just want to see what happens. I think we have to spawn the cop and just get caught by the cop. I just want to see that real quick before we change games. We'll uh, jump over, yeah. Three, two, one, go. All right, let's go find that cop. I think you have to like, just start a fight or something and the cop appears. Or as soon as the cop appears, just kick the crap out of a Bay Area. Punch the crap out of the car. Come on. How to make the cop appear. No, the cop appears on level one. Oh, dead. There's a guy named Druid. Ooh, I think I have to punch the pedestrian to make the cop appear. Nope. 
Nice, we had flying. All right, looking for the cop. And as soon as you see the cop, you just start punching the crap out of him. And I, I think that's how you get busted. Or maybe the cop just appears random. There we go, where's the cop? Where's the cop, where's the cop? I hear the cop. There's the cop. Punch the cop. Punch the crap out of that cop. Yeah, get me busted. Kelly is the name of the cop. Oh. Busted. Here we go. This is what happens if you get busted. Oh, damn. Takes the baseball bat out. Oh, nice. Just searches him completely. <sighs> Ooh, he had a shotgun on him. Wait, I haven't seen a shotgun in this game. Busted. Alrighty. Busted. Alrighty, cool. Alright, so let's jump over to the next game. Alright, so that was Road Rash. The next game we're going to play is Metal Slug. We will require the 1 meg RAM cart for this one. So I'm going to change the game out and pop in the RAM cartridge for this. So, let's see here. Open the case, put the game in here. Put the the game in the, the Saturn. Thanks to the GGs. All right, metal slug time. So I think, do I have a cartridge over here? I don't see a card over here. Oh, yep. Bingo, cartridge. Boom. Next slide. Road rash. Not road rash. Metal slug. Metal slug. This, uh, this is a fan favorite. Metal slug. Can't go wrong with metal slug. Please detect my ram cart game. Now loading. Fat Super, welcome on in. And a Putin's fan, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. 21 blocks. That's okay. We're not saving. Metal slug. Let's get those heroes up. Hero 5. Metal slug epic. We're going to do this on easy, normal, hard, arcade. Let's just do it on normal. Key config. A is gun. B is jump. C is... Yep. Vulcan fix. Oh, it's fix shot. That's what that means. Okay, so we'll turn that off. Art gallery. What's the art gallery? Mechanics. Yes, sure. Is Wii Metal Slug any good? Um, you know what? Hold on. The, the virtual console version? I know my roommates in college played it, and I remember seeing it. It looked really impressive. Ooh, this is some impress impressive art. Early design. Melty Honey, Bull Chain. All right, let's get to the game. <laughs> I'm not really good at uh, showing off like museum items. Let's play the game. You have it on discs? It's a few games. I know an OG Xbox. 
Um, I have Metal Slug 4 and 5. Should I show that off? I should show that off. I'm going to show that off. I'm going to show that off right now. Metal Slug 4 and 5 for the OG Xbox. Look at that. You got Metal Slug 4 on a disc. You got Metal Slug 5 on a disc. That's some cool shit. I haven't... It's funny, my friend... My friend actually, I think he gave it to me. He legitimately gave me this game because I think he sold his OG Xbox. And he realized, oh crap, you know, you got, a, you got an OG Xbox... I have a 360. It doesn't work on the 360. It only works on the OG Xbox. So, I have a copy of it. So, you let me have it. Greatest arcade a action franchise Metal Slug now available on this double pack. Two, di two games, two discs, one pack. Nice. Alright, let's play Metal Slug. Metal Slug 1. Like how it has four and five. Where's three, two, and one? The PSP compilation is great. Yeah. Looked at your Wii one on the back. It says seven arcade perfect games. You play it one day. Oh, that's a hidden gem right there. Well, even better. Even better. I own a Neo Geo. And a flash card. I can play all of the Metal Slug games if I really wanted to. Whoa. Whoa. We just... We're playing the Atari 2600 version of Metal Slug. Look at that. It's the Atari 2600 version of the game. Whoa. Look at this heavy machine gun nonsense. The Atari 2600 version of the game. Thank you. So you know what this means, guys. Um... The Saturn detected my RAM cart, but it's not loading the RAM cart properly. That's what that's what this means. <laughs> it looks kind of funny. I don't think I've ever seen this happen before. It's not loading the graphics. That's kind of interesting how um, that works. Hey, Wisco. It's the Atari 2600 version of... of uh, I should just play I'm gonna play it. I wanna see how far we can get with this. <laughs> Metal slug. It's probably gonna it's probably gonna crap out. I don't, I don't know. Is this a PG stream? Is this a pink gorilla stream or a, yeah, I think it's a PG. It's a it's an M-rated stream. Uh Wow. That's interesting. Programming glitch. Metal slug, but it's glitched out. <laughs> uh, no, it's not normal, Zorak. I know. All right. <laughs> Can we get a clean pause there? Oh, man. That's what happens if you don't put in your RAM card properly. All right. Hey, thanks for the fall. Appreciate it. Welcome on in. All right, we're going to try this out again. Metal Slug. Hopefully, it'll load. Hopefully, it detects the cart. It detected it. Ferris, welcome on in. Sagata. All right, so we're going to reload. It's going to say... You need 20 set, 21 blocks in memory. That's okay. No, don't load. I wanted five. I wanted five uh, lives. All right, it's back out. <laughs> now loading. Yeah, so the if you have a Neo Geo CD, you still see the, these load times look familiar. These uh, load time screens, they're in the uh, 
they're in them. Okay, back out. Arcade mission, yes. Start up. Mission start. All right, I think it. I think it loaded up this time. Before it wasn't showing the character. There we go. Heavy machine gun. Thank you. But yeah, those graphics were showing up like that because the the ram cart wasn't. It was detected in the game like. Register. Oh, you got the ramp card inserted, but maybe there was like a pin or something, a contact not being read properly. So you can see like why it needs that extra ram to load the, the sprites. So it stores uh, those graphics in uh, memory. Can't sleep over here. Sinus. He oh, you got the sinus headache. Oh, sorry to hear about that. I hate sinuses. You know what you should do? Actually, no. This is a this is the the home remedy for a uh, a tension headache. I hear if you take a pencil and you just like bite on it and you keep it in your mouth, um it relieves the tension. But then again, don't do that because you get pencil in your mouth. It's behind the eyeball. It's sinus. Aches the whole... Oh, yeah. Shit. I hope you feel better. Behind the eye... I hate those. Oh, hey, it's Karen's uh, loading screen music. Karen's loading screen music. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Keep throwing that. Let's back up. Cannon. Throw that. Going between. Nope. Oh, there we go. Teeth aches. Mm. Stand back. Look forward. Jump. Might as well spam. Yep. Jump out. Rocket launcher. Bomb. Oh, I win. Nice. Yeah, I hope you feel better. Hey, Mark, you had it this week? Air suture? Yeah. Allergies. You almost Googled turmoil? Oh. Yo, no, no, no. Don't, don't Google your symptoms. Never, never, never Google your symptoms. If you see anything medical and you get, like, medical advice at all on anything, don't. Don't look up any medical advice on, on Google. Don't. Oh, man, don't. That's the worst thing you could ever do. Because what ends up happening is, like, 9 out of 10, like, 9.9.9999999995 9 times out of 10, uh, you're 100% okay. Um... And it tells you the worst, and it gets stuck in your head. And the only way um, you get it out of your head is if you go to the doctor and get checked out, and then the doctor tells you you're fine. And, um, you know, and then just says, all right, take a Tylenol or something like that. So, so I advise highly never Google your symptoms at all. Don't even Google a symptom. Even if you're not having symptoms, don't Google anything about. Don't look up what 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 anything means. Rocket launcher. Yeah. I remember 
in the in the the pre-internet days um the pre-internet days of um googling symptoms there was that little that little black book the little black medical book they called it um in the 80s it was like this it was like this it was like, this, it, it was like a it, it's a book and it had like you know like the 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 spine cover would be black and had like the the rivets on there and uh that little black medical book it was like a big black uh medical book and you back then we used to look up our symptoms in that book and it would tell us what we have and that was bad too <laughs> it would tell you oh you have cancer you have the worst thing in the world and then you end up going to the doctor and it's like oh you don't have any of that but yeah cole hope you uh, feel better um tried up the try to look up the konami code on google <laughs> it said you had cancer oh boy symptom need to learn the konami code uh uh You got the worst of it. Now, I'm not trying to offer medical advice, of course, but I'm just saying Googling your symptoms is probably like, the worst thing you could ever do. Just from experience. 3 a.m. in Cincinnati. Glad I found a cool chat. A lot of weird. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The internet. The internet, yeah. The internet's out to get you. Yeah, in, in the real world outside, you get the you get those guys trying to bum you for a cigarette. They're like, "Hey, can I bum you for a cigarette?" And I'll be like, "I don't smoke." They're like, "I didn't ask you if you smoked. <laughs> I want to know if you have a cigarette." And I'm like, "I don't have a cigarette." <laughs> those go those guys are the worst. Those those crazy people are the worst. Yeah. Yeah, take a tunnel. You know, I'd say the best thing for a headache, drink lots and lots of water. Lay down, get rest. I know it sounds very generic, but that's like the best thing you can do. And Tylenol. You don't smoke, you know, yeah. You have no reason to have cigarettes, exactly. Now this guy was legitimate that I had a cigarette on me, even though I didn't smoke. <laughs> okay. 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 I was like one time I was uh I was in I was in college, uh, a, a bum came up to me. And told me I'm selling I'm selling a bunch of candy for a dollar a piece. It's like you want some candy. He's like, nah, I don't have money. It's like, would you like to make a donation? And he was selling, uh, you know, those twiz those those individually wrapped Twizzlers you could get for like a nickel at the, like the bodega. He was selling that for a dollar a piece. Like, nah, nah, dollar for a Twizzler, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, man. Jump out of there. Get really bad headaches if you don't drink caffeine. Now you drink caffeine for life. You know, I heard that too. If you have a headache, if you drink caffeine, it, it fixes it temporarily. Oh yeah, if you just like go to cold turkey. Yeah, that could be that too. 
You don't smoke food. <laughs> I don't smoke food. What's up, Spyro? Alright, this is mission three. Nice. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. This level, I usually take some continues on, so I just have to be careful. Thank you. Took that way. Let's see. How do I get up here? 54 seconds. 50 seconds. I'll cap me. Alright, going up, elevator. Jump up here. Excedrin, yeah, Excedrin I hear is really good. It's very powerful. Animist. I always get killed on that jump. That's this part. Shoot this thing. There we go. Easy peasy. Jump. Zero life. I got a frog. 5,000 points. Nice. Okay. Okay. Right, wait right here. Jump. Jump. Frog. Uh oh, I got no bombs. Dead. First credit. Machine gun. Go home the mommy. Uh oh. Crap. See you in hell. Alright. Get the bird's nest. Thank you. Rocket launcher. Nope. Huh, I can't shoot diagonally. Can I slide? Go ahead. Close. Goody. Ooh, okay. Shotgun. Okay. Get that. Boom. Bomb. Okay. Boom. There we go. Dead. Okay. Yeah, lost my shotgun. Throw some bombs on this guy. Goody. Yep, got one. Ooh. Good art style, oh, yeah. I remember when I first read up on Metal Slug. And I was just like, wow, this graphics, this graphics are amazing. I, I was like, oh, for PlayStation, like, nah, this is Neo Geo. I'm like, oh shit, 16-bit graphics are amazing. Really good stuff. Oh, can I still save that guy? Nah, I can't. Let's see here. Oh, shot down that tree. Uh, I'm gonna stay here. Dead. Jump out. Stay down. Take out that tank. Take out that tank. Boom. Good stuff. Remember playing Metal Slug in the arcades thinking that this is the best we're gonna get game? Yeah. Yeah, they would make a bunch of other Metal Slug games later on. It's crazy. Rocket launcher. Uh-oh. Run away. Oh, ran 
ran away. Good stuff. Ah, that sucks. Jump. Oh no, it's not making it's not making sound effects. Heavy machine gun. Got him. Get that guy. Save him. Save him. Thank you. Nice. Cool stuff. Ooh, we got five credits on the other. But, uh, I have an idea. Cheese out the game. Nice. I just touched the Saturn and it just like did some weird stuff. Player two has five credits. That's why I'm I'm plugging in the second controller. I just thought of something cool. Mission four. Start. Thank you. Thank you. Dead. Admittedly, though, I like the first controller. I plugged in the pink controller that I got from uh, Limited Run. The retro bit controller. Let's see how that is. All right. Can I get up there? No. Nope, the screen locked. I can't go that way. So there is a way to get up there. I just I just shot too early. Two. We got two credit. Dead. Wow. I died two times already within the five seconds. These guys keep coming out. Look at this. An infinite supply of bad guys. I right, just gotta keep going. Thank you. Machine gun. Get that bomb out of the way. Bomb. Oh crap. Forever respawning. <laughs> Rocket, launcher. Rocket launcher, shoot these guys. Come on, blow up. Dead. Zero lives. Nope. Cool. Shoot these guys. Blow up. Dead. I saw that coming. All right, we got one credit after this. Start with the heavy machine gun. Rocket launcher. Thank you. Jump. Get that in. Duck. Get that H. Come on. Blow that guy up. Blow them all up. There we go. Gas. Okay. Okay. Jump out. Oh, I died of over the spikes. There you go. Got that heavy machine gun. Machine gun. Oh, I'm coming down here. Crap. Boss. Yep, couldn't escape that. There you go. Oh. 
Come on, stay down. Keep going. It's not a metal slug game unless you have a bajillion death slug in your completion of this game. Yeah, you're right. Jump. Ooh, nice. Escaped. There we go. We got him. Boom. Machine gun. Beat it. What's up, Red? How you doing? Pause player two and swap controllers. That's true. I think I might do that. I might do that. Mission five. And then I think six is the last one. Or seven. Forget how many levels there are in this game. Doing great this evening. Happy sick of Saturn Day. Doing amazing. Pull up the car. Dead. Went right into the. Right into the effing thing. Rocket launcher. Oh, stay down. Don't die. Stand back. Jump. H, heavy machine gun. Get that flamethrower. Let's go. Come on, blow that guy. <laughs> blow that guy, blow up that. Oh, turkey. Turkey. I want that turkey. Get up here. Yeah. Come on. Take that tank. Cannon. Come on. Blow up the car. Come on. Thank you. Your local pizza place had this game growing up. The money probably made off the metal slug. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Local pizza chains with arcades in them. You know, I my my local pizza chain never really had arcade games, but I remember Pizza Hut having arcades in their uh, waiting area. I fondly remember that. Whenever I think of a, a, a local pizza chain having a arcade game, I think of George and Seinfeld with the, the Frogger cabinet, and I'm dead. Last credit. Go in there. The Frogger. This guy. Jump out. Get that heavy machine gun. What the hell is this? Jump. The episode of Friends when, when Chandler gets an arcade. I think that was a Galaga dead. Or no, it was a Miss Pac-Man. If I remember correctly. Dead. Your local pizza had WWF Slam Fest. Oh, Wrestle Fest, I gotcha. Nice. 
Just stay underneath it. Nice. Level 5 down. Good stuff. Did you say the intro to this game was Kieran's intro? Um, the music was Kieran's intro. Some of it was. I know he uses the soundtrack to Neo Turf, Man Neo Turf Masters, which was another Neo Geo game. But I think he also uses the soundtrack from Metal Slug. Mike, welcome on in. All the pew pew pews. Final mission. Alright, final mission time. I know the final boss is gonna be in pop. Oh, dead. The final boss is gonna be ridiculous. The beer back music, yeah. Crap. Bigs. Local Bigs had an arcade. Bigs. I didn't have a Bigs. I didn't have a Bigs. What's a Bigs? Is that like a sandwich shop or something? Sounds like it would be a sandwich shop. Sounds like it belongs in a sandwich shop. Maybe it was like a hard, maybe it was a hardware store or something. Dead. Start. Start. Is he saying fuck? I think he is. I think he is saying the F word. Alright, so this is what we do. Switch out. Done. There we go. All right, now we're player two. We're player two. Switching credits here. Oh, close one. Dead. Oh, he's in. Yep, he's yelling fuck. Real arcades even had gum stuck on the floor. Ooh, disgusting. Very nasty. I guess that's why if you go to Galloping Ghost, they tell you not to have gum in your mouth. I know this because I usually chew gum when I'm like driving I don't know uh, and I, I went into the galloping ghost with the gum still in my mouth and they're like yo know, you gotta take the gum out of your mouth when you're when you're in this arcade and I was like all right cool I was like I feel like I'm in middle school again because that was like a rule oiled seasoned potatoes mmm Potatoes. Many potatoes. <laughs> Garlic Parmesan potatoes. Take charge of the gun? Yep. I could. Now you're a potato. <laughs> Fuck. We got two lives. Yeah. That, uh... The anti-aircraft gunner is uh, a total uh, bummer. Dead. 
one life. Throw some of that. Down. Use the slowdown to your advantage. Yes, yeah, so the Neo Geo does not have any slowdown on this part, apparently. I believe it. Thank you. Heavy machine gun. Guys, jump. Boom. Blow up that highway. Olive oil and some small potato, oh, small potatoes, butter, rosemary, onion, garlic powder, and bacon. Mmm. Potato. Oh, there's bonus in that water. Fish. Grab that hostage. <clears throat> nope. <clears throat> Continue. Heavy machine gun. We got two credits left? I gotta be very careful. Dead. I got, I don't have that many credits left. There we go. Oh, this is the final boss. This helicopter. This is the last boss. in there. Dead. Three lives left. What do we do it again? There we go. Oh, same boss. Dead. Oh, he just yelled fuck. Jump. Come on. No, 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 no. Crap. Yeah, he's yelling the F word out. Continue. Heavy machine gun. Bomb. Oh, run out of the way. Alright, I'm going all the way up here. I'm throwing some bombs at this guy. There we go. Got him. Got more? Did it. Done. Easy peasy. Saved one hostage. And they also own the Nintendo Switch and, and a Joy-Con go bad. Oh, yours went dead. Final mission complete. Not bad. Cool, we beat it. Beat Metal Slug. Last away and go, go, go. After 20 years now, I find out they, they scream the F word. Yeah. I guess only in the Japanese version. Mission all over. Cool. All right, we'll just put our uh, initials in here. We did that on normal difficulty. I think usually I play this on easy. Is that our ending? We got credits. 
Was this game a Sega Saturn cart? Uh, no, but you have to put a cartridge in it to get it running. It was all on disc, yeah. It didn't. It didn't come with the ROM cart. No. Mission all over. Now loading. Do we get an ending or is that it? Oh no! Here's the ending. He throws a paper airplane. Super vehicle 001 metal slug. Rom upgrade with the cart. No, 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 no. The cart, um, the cart was. It's like a generic one meg RAM cartridge. You need to you need to put in the Saturn. Uh, that was packaged with a lot of games. And this one, too, if you had the special RAM cart version. Um, butt cheeks. I'm pretty sure that's a monkey. I'm pretty sure it was a monkey. Yeah, RAM, not ROM. Yeah, there's a, there, are, there are two Saturn games that came with ROM carts, and that was King of Fighters 95 and the Ultraman game. One of the Ultraman games. And things like Super Mario World when they go through all the levels. Oh yeah, that's right. Instead of Yoshi, it's this paper airplane. <laughs> yeah, it shows the shows all the dead uh all the dead enemies. And you got parrots flying through here. It's like yay, they're all dead. Sound hiya. Jim. Interesting, you complete nude for the Saturn and Dreamcast never ha had. Oh, you never had a Dreamcast? You missed the boat? Well, you can always get the Japanese versions. They're much cheaper, but the Japanese Saturn has jumped up quite a bit, though. Um. But you know what? It might burst, and the love, uh, the prices might go back down again. I'd say like Dreamcast is, you could still get some cheap ones. Thin. I mean, there's there's so many ways you could play the games now. You could play them with discs. You could play them with ISOs. Game over. Peace forever. All right, cool. All right, so let's remove the. Part the the controller. All right, so that oh, best tank busters. I'm the best tank buster. Gotta get a mister, yeah, yeah. Just get a mister. Load all the ISOs that the disc dumps on the uh, SD card. Do it that way. That's what I say at this point. Okay, so that was Metal Slug. The next game we're gonna play. Get ready for this one. This one has a backstory. So, <laughs> the reason why I put this on the list. Uh, so, I, many of you may or may not know, I acquired a copy of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And I heard that Iron Man is, like, the best character in the game that you need to unlock. And I've been, all week long, I really wanted to play as Iron Man. And I couldn't unlock Iron Man in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So... Here at here here we have folks um Iron Man Exo Man o War and Heavy Metal for the Sega Saturn. We're going to pop this in next. So here we go. Actually, we need to remove the card. Iron Man time. Iron Man. Iron Man. Never play this one. Yeah, a lot of people call this game uh, a very jank game, but... Oh, wait, no. Not Striker. Why does it say Strikers 1945? Uh, hang on. I'll be right back. Something's up with my uh, utility here. 
B -b 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 OBS. Bring that back up. Okay. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. And Iron Man. There we go. Cool. Do not know this game. Is it said to be good? It's uh, it's said to be a bad game. <laughs> But I think it's a hidden gem. Once you get past the first few levels, it's pretty good. <laughs> Real-time associates came out uh, on the U.S., but I have the Japanese version because it was much cheaper than the American. I think I paid ten bucks for it, and it's in English, a hundred percent. Iron Man. You nearly bought a Dreamcast with a broken disk drive. You gonna put an oh oh yeah, missed the boat yeah. Mm. Heavy metal. Have I ever been to Japan? Nah. Uh, I haven't been overseas. Like, the only place I've been outside of the country were um, Mexico, Cancun, and um, the Dominican Republic. That's the only two places I've been out of the country. Never been to Europe. I don't know what it's like. My mom keeps telling me I need to go to Italy. So, one of these days I might travel. Game options. So, we're going to play Iron Man. Iron Man. And then the final game of the night will be Strikers 1945. Never left Australia. Love to go to Japan one day. Yeah. Difficulty, tough guy, wimpy, superhero. We're going to be the tough guy. Controller config. Where in Italy is my family from originally? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. I really don't know. We're in the Dominican Republic. Uh, Porto Plata. I think that's where I went. Porto Plata. I don't know. We're in Italy. I think Naples. I was told Naples. Naples is near Rome. Don't know exactly. Yeah. Iron Man. You've been to Italy once. It was cool. So we can play as Iron Man or Exo Man of War. Seven feet tall. Tony Stark, six foot one to twenty five pounds. You know what? I want to be Man of War. Actually, no, no, no. Fuck it. We're gonna be Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Directed. Man. Families from near Santiago. Got fat on the trip because you couldn't help but try the. F yeah. Food is good. It's it's different out there from what I hear, but it's good. Alright, take that back, guys. This game's not in Jap not in uh English, it's in Japanese. Objective. Have I been to Canada? Nah. I missed the boat on going to Canada. Um my job was gonna send me to Canada one weekend, like last minute, and uh I told them no. Uh, they were going to send me to Calgary, um, Alberta. And I said no. I should have gone to Calgary. Because it, it, it was going to be like a weekend trip or something like that. And I was, I was planning on... I had plans that weekend, so... I just didn't go. This is Iron Man. Let me lower that. It's going to be very loud. Robert Downey Jr. is about 4 foot 2. Really? I didn't, I didn't know he was that short. Uh, I always wanted to go to Canada. Uh, though. Uh, I could technically drive to my Montreal. I think that's like a six hour drive or something like that, but I ain't driving that far north. When, I have no, I have no reason to go. Um, every time I go north, I, I think of going towards, like, the mountains or something, and it's, like, not the good mountains. He's taller than you. Five foot eight. Logic, well, come on. Is Italy expensive to live? Food, housing, transportation, etc.? I'm not really sure. Never been to Italy. Hey, thanks for the fall. appreciate it. I think I could shoot the... Alright, if you hold up and B, you can shoot the, the, the background. That's pretty cool. Do I got a jetpack? No. 
Tom, yeah, Tom Cruise is short. I think he's his wife, Katie Holmes, is five foot nine. Um, he's like five seven. I guess in the eighties, everybody thought he was like really tall, <laughs> but he really isn't. Three foot eight, yeah. Yeah, Cruise is a uh, Cruise is a shorty guy. Let's see. Can we shoot this? Up? So you gotta hit up and B at the same time to shoot the the back. Oh wait, no, that didn't work. My armor's running out. Can I shoot that guy in the back? Yes, I could. All right, run in. There. Oh, blow that up. Huh. Wait, can I go that way? Nope, I can't go this way. All right, so I have to go. Where do I go? Run. Oh, I gotta go inside this little house. All right, I see here. Get that health bar, nice. Player one armor up. All right, hold on, if we go left. Jump up slightly. There we go. Okay, I don't remember going this way, so we're going this way. Got the health. Jump over this. Nice. Pull that guy up. Oh, oh, get up. Yeah, this game, this game definitely goes under the radar for most people of uh, platformers on the Saturn. I I happen to like this. I, I love jank games. And this is uh the this this game goes on top of the Janko meter, but it's fun to play it play through once you figure it out. It came out on the PlayStation also, so if you wanna save a buck, just get the PlayStation version. Oh. Yeah, so the trick to this game, a lot of people say it's this is bad because they get stuck in the middle of the game, but they forget, you know, they, that you get, you know, you have to shoot the, um, the background to get through most of the stuff. To, like, shoot panels and stuff. Stay in a small city. You're also under 21. You were, the drinking age was like 16, so you got to go to the bar. When I went to the Dominican Republic, I was 19 years old, and the drinking age was 18, and it felt so awesome and badass. I felt like I was 21. <laughs> it really was at the time. And while I was there, I was like, ooh, I want to go to a casino and gamble. And my mom was like, no. You can't go to the casino and gamble because the casinos here are rigged. And I was like, okay. So I just didn't go. So I didn't even, she didn't even let me try it out or anything like that. So. There we go. Jump on up. Uh, go up. The roof. Dead. Where do I start? I start here. Go. Hmm. Go. Nice. Beat level one. Let's see here. So this game, I think, has a password save instead of, like, a RAM card save. Yep, it's got a password. I never understood why. Like, the Saturn has the ability to save, and they chose to use passwords. But all right, whatever.
Let's see here. Nice. Keep going. Can I blow that up? Yes, I could. That guy. How many lives do I got? Doesn't say. Oh, I have a. Oh, I have a special power. It's the Z, and I could kick. I didn't know that. I could kick and punch. Can I do an infinite? Do a fucking infinite? Get that health. Armor up. Oh, crap. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. Can I shoot this guy from above? Alright, I get my boost meter up. The short the store shut down at like 3 or 4 p.m. They took Matt. Oh, really? The chillest. Pe oh, yeah. They take a lot. There's a lot of breaks. I hear a lot of vacations too. Paid vacations for like months. Crap. Oh, you soup. Come on, come that way. Boom, go this way. Oh, crap. Don't. There we go, go this way. Dead. Oh, not dead. Work better in the Europe. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I've, I've. I've heard. I was watching a documentary. Apparently, like prisons are uh, are different in Europe as well. Certain certain parts of Europe. I think Sweden. Like, if you go to prison, they send you to like an island, but like you're not locked up or anything. You can like you're free to go around the like the whole island or something like that. You just can't go back to society. And they they have like like technology there and they let you go on the computer and play video games. It's weird. Oh crap. How many lives do we got? Oh hold on. Yeah, I use my, my thing here. Hide. I guess it, yeah. Hide. I guess it's a hide. Oh crap. Go that way. Oh crap. Oh, like from like a marble? It's gonna run, jump. That way. It, was he jump out now? Jumps out. Shoot him. Get him. Oh, shrunk. Enemy defeated well. Well done. Nice. All right, that's the first level. They re rehabilitate prisoners and have low... Yeah. That's what I, that's what I saw in the documentary. It was weird. Very weird. It's interesting. The same... I think there was... Yeah, the... They actually... Oh, yeah, you just said that. <laughs> I almost read your comment twice. All right. Iron Man. All right, this is the level where most people usually give up on. Oh, 
Going down again. Go, get the health. Oh, missed the turret. They keep, they keep bouncing infinitely. Player one armor up. Oh, crap. Dead. Nope. Alive. Ooh, crap. Uh-oh. Elevator fallen. A minute boost now. Yep, there you go. Oh, here comes that rock and music. There we go. Go. <clears throat> nice. <clears throat> there we go. All right, we go in here. Go in, go out. Boom. So you got to hit up and B at the same time. This game has like that weird like control scheme that was in Batman Forever on the Sega Genesis. And that's how you like beat this level. And it's funny because that Batman Forever on the Genesis was made by Acclaim. So it's like they, they well actually it was made by Proby Software, but it's the same, it had the same um, control scheme. So it's like they they didn't learn from their mistake and like put that into a Saturn game. Can I break this door open? Nice. There we go. There we go. Anything in here? Nope. Break this door down. Oh. There we go. Go on. level zone complete good stuff so we're just playing until we get game over that's how we're gonna do this one but at this rate i seem to be doing pretty good up oh, boss time meltdown, meltdown. uh oh uh-oh. Oh, crap. Ah, crap. Gotta be fast. Go. 
Oh no. Ah, oh, crap. Hold on. Zero life counts. It does. Shoot it. Oh, we got one more. Boom, got him. Hold down. Enemy defeated. Well done. All right. Next level. Zone completed. Loading. Mission, Mission two. Mission Main target. Objective. Let's go. out of nowhere. Climb up. Oh. Dead. Not dead. No health. left. That's alright. Right in front of the health, too. Uh-oh. Did it. Going inside. Alright, next area. Oh, 
maintaining a nearby. Proceed with caution. <coughs> oh, what's this? Boss. I guess that's the boss. So complete. Boom. Next level. Oh. Yeah, Pet Montana. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Boom. All right, this level. Drop down. Elevator. Ooh, perspective change. <laughs> They're chattering. It just screeches. <laughs> Loud screeches. That's that's the that's the chatter. Yellow jacket detected. Boss. Field deactivated. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so I changed my mind. This is the level where a lot of people give up on. Because there's this force field that like kills you instantly. And you have to deactivate it by blowing up something. There we go. 
a lot of people don't know you to blow it up you have to shoot the background but it gets tricky Looting. Hmm. Jump up. There we go. Don't need the, the boost for this. Cool. Was there explanation for the crossover? Oh, you with the uh, mana war? Not really sure. I guess. I guess. Uh, I don't know. Maybe is there a comic in here? Usually in these Marvel uh, tie-ins, they put a. a co oh yeah, there's a comic in here. But it's all in Japanese. Look at that. It's all in Japanese. That's pretty cool. The comic is all in Japanese. That's pretty neat. I gotta get I'm gonna hunt down the US version of this game. You got a sick ass comic. That's that's really neat. Whole the whole manual is a comic book. That's neat. Boop, boom. All right, let's see here. Pause. Shoot that thing. Oh, crap. Get up. Oh, run in there. Get First field deactivated. Go. I just love these rocket tunes. This is great. Oh wait, what's this? Force field deactivated. Caution laser. Oh. Boss Tim. Goliath. Goliath. Does something with this uh, this drill, I think. Up. Oh. Oh. Force field. Uh oh. Let's see. Spawns. Take that. Oh crap. Oh crap. There we go. Uh oh, he's growing bigger. Two continues remaining. That's a, not a problem. Ah, crap. Go in there. Yeah. Uh -oh. Boom. Fire one low. Yo, Sinistubber, welcome on in. Hey, doing? Happy sick of Saturn Day. Doing great. How was uh, Battletoads on the Genesis? The game was hard. 
I want to return to that game. This looks awesome, yeah. Iron Man, Exo Man of War, and Heavy Metal for the Saturn. It came out on the PlayStation 1 also. If you're looking to add to your collection on the Mister, you should check it out. You played for 26 minutes, and uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is it? I mean, it's back now, right? Objective. 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 It's this level. I think this is the subway level. Yeah, we're just playing this until we get game over. Even though we could just use passwords and continue the whole way. But, uh, just showing this off. And then we're going to play Strikers 1945. Up. Oh. Yeah, this is the level where the nukes blow up. It's the level where the, nuke, the nukes blow up. Attack nuke destroyed. You gotta destroy all the nukes. There's the nukes in this level. You gotta blow them up. There you go. Fail. So much shit trying to kill you in this level. Saturn games look badass, yeah. Go, go, go. <laughs> I like how that guy just like he just like flinged around in a bunch of circles and he just crashed. That's funny. <clears throat> Zone complete. Hmm. Oh, it's, yeah, it's on PlayStation 1. It's a lot cheaper than the, the Saturn version. Because the Saturn, of course, has to be expensive when it comes to platformers and running guns. Attack Nook nearby. There you go. Attack Nook destroyed. This level gets tough. There you go. Blow up. Oh, there's the nuke. Come on, blow up already. There we go. There we go. Got him. Street. Yep, we're in New York City. Iron Man's in the city. Tony Stark. Did it. Yeah, every level you get a password. <laughs> Good stuff. Loading. If there's a, I wonder if there's a nuke in this level. Yep, there's nukes on the train. There we go. Uh, 
Ah, oh, crap. Things, everything's trying to blow you up in this game. Come on, get that, get that thing. Van Artek. Hey, so you were playing Don, Dodon Pachi earlier. Supposedly a score attack tournament on the Saturn version was held back in 1998. The top winners, they got a special PCB of an arranged version of Dodon Pachi with a blue title screen. Oh, nice. So that's probably what the password was. You probably were able to submit that for the tournament. That's probably what that was. Come on, get up. Ah, I got fucking nuked. Ugh. That sucks. Oh, grab that. Yeah, I was playing Dodon Pachi earlier. That game's really fun. We're, we're actually gonna jump into a shmup after this game when we run out of continues. I seem to be that good at this game for some reason. P that PCP, there's only three copies existing. The Holy Grail. Oh, shit. Really? That's like, um, Vector Man on the Sega Genesis. One, one cart in existence, I think, or maybe more than one cart. Um, several carts in existence that have the you win the game screen at the end of the, the game that gives you, like, a special code to send in, uh, to win, like, $30,000 or something like that. Same, same, same concept there. It has an early version of it. Sequels, hyper system. Oh shit! So, did anybody dump it? I'm just curious. Did it? Wonder if they dumped it. No dump. It's lost, yeah. If they dumped it, it would be it would have been wouldn't have been lost. Uh, ooh, that sucks. The CEO has it. Interesting. Blue Dodon Pachi title screen. Thirty fourth Street. Look how Tony Stark has to take the, the subway <laughs> to get to 34th Street. There you go. Oh. R Gear, the sequel uh, to Ray Force that was never released. Oh shit. Ray Force. So the sequel to on the Saturn's layer section. Okay. Yeah, so it's the, the sequel to Galactic Attack. Never released. That's interesting. That is really interesting. Cause, Cause the sequel that we would be considered would be the would be Ray Crisis. For layer section two. Or wait, no, that's Ray Force in America. The new Ray Collection title will include a demo of our gear, only one stage. I'd be interested to see what the graphics are like. If they're maybe they're close to the um, Galactic Attack too for the first time. That'd be cra crazy. Attack nuke destroyed. There you go. Beat it. They go it's only one playable level. Yeah, that's what uh Van Arctic's saying. Supposedly Shout Time said it's two stages. Same graphics, pretty much video evidence. Lin Ling, welcome on in. How you doing? Yo, upside down Matt's emote. Nice. Welcome on in. Happy Sega Saturn Day. Only from Amazon Japan if you pre-order 
12th or 13th of July? Well, it's it's July 10th right now. It is July 10th right now. <laughs> we have two days. Seek shot activated. Boom. Oh, oh, something in here. Pull that attack nuke up. Nice. Oh crap. We got guys on hover bikes. Ah, come on. That's it. So I used the special weapon and I died. Wow. Last continue. Here we go. Ah, fuck. Nah, I'm just gonna boost. Orb Industries. Did it. Last continue, and we're gonna jump right into Strikers 1945. Zone complete. Cool. Loading. 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 Should get yourself get into Sega systems. Gotta start with the Genesis. Genesis is really good. Genesis is very underrated. People think it's just Sonic and Alex Kidd and Outrun. But it's much more than that. Got the collection. Oh, that's that's good. Yeah, the Mega Drive collection is all you need, really. But... You got Castlevania Bloodlines on there. That's like a really good version of Castlevania right there. Well operated. Best version of Castlevania. Darn laptops not being nice to you. Oh shit. Oh crap. Run, 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 jump. Crap. Up already. Come on. One death, but we at least we got the the stupid nuke. Oh. There we go. Up, oh, boss. Vizier detected. I'm gonna use my special. Shoot lasers. Come on, shoot. Ah, crack it up. Run. are pretty interesting. Jump. Then he comes up, and then ready, set, 
Go. Jump. Duck. Double tap. There we go. Stay down. Jump. Stay right here. Ready, set, go. Jump. There you go. Go. There we go. Cool. Ready, set, go. Duck. And then jump. Oh, crap. Nope, not dead yet. Ready, set, go. Do, 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 jump. Dead. Wait, where? Wait, where am I? Dude, where'd I go? Where'd I go? Dude, did I just soft lock the game? Oh my god. I soft locked the game. I disappeared. What the hell, Acclaim? How, how dare you? I was on my last life anyway. I was on... Oh, uh, no. I soft locked the game. Way to go, Acclaim. You suck. I soft locked the game. I think I, I think he shot me off the screen and I died. And I respawned where I like ended up. Well, if if any anything but game logic tells me anything, like eventually I'll probably I'll clip from the top and fall. So let's give it like let's get it like 30 seconds. So I know in I know in Tasmania for the Sega Genesis, if you clip through the floor, eventually you end up on the top again. I don't know why that works, but eh. So eventually you like run you you go past the Y axis, and then it loops back to the top, and then you just fall. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, fuck this. This is over. We're done. All right, so that was Iron Man. <laughs> Iron Man, everybody. All right, final game on the list is Strikers 1945. It's a shmup. We started with the shmup. We're going to end with the shmup. Strikers 1945. Strikers. Well, Iron Man's interesting. Wait, my, my Saturn? My shirt's Saturn? Yeah, yeah hang on. It says Sega Saturn. It's Sega Saturn Day. You gotta wear a Sega Saturn shirt. You know, I got I got three of these. I got a I got one in blue. I got one in yellow, gold, and I got one in in purple to match the the Twitch color scheme, which doesn't blend in with the lighting in my room for any reason. All right, Strickers, nineteen forty five. Pop that sucker in. We'll start it up. Wake up, Zorak. Six hour stream. We're finally going into the last shmup of the night. Strikers 1945. Let's lower that. It says Ram is not enough. That's okay. Atlas shmup. Good stuff. Hype. Psycho. 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 It's going to be a hard game. It's going to be a hard shmup. Let's see. Should I jack? Should I play on not monkey difficulty? EMP will come on in. Should I play on monkey difficulty, which is the easiest setting? Or should I play one down just so I can experience the hard boss fight at the end of the game that I couldn't beat. These Psycho shoot them up. They don't mess around. 
There is a Neo Geo version of Strikers 1945. Apparently, it's totally different than the, the than one and two for the Saturn. Fun fact, did you guys know that Mobile Light, Light Force 1 for the PS1 is just gun burned, reskinned? And Strikers 1945 that came out in the US on the PlayStation is Strikers 1945 2. And this version of Strikers 1945 only came out on the Saturn and the Switch. And the PS2. I actually have on the PS2, the Japanese PS2, the Shakers 1945 1 and 2 in a compilation set. You know that now, yeah. So all these years when we were playing Shakers 1945 on the PlayStation, it was the second game in disguise. Very coordinated. If if I don't have a Saturn shirt, um, then I'm just wearing a regular it means I didn't. I forgot to do the laundry that day. If I if I don't wear a Sega Saturn shirt on a Saturn day, I just that just means I forgot to do laundry. I got a yellow, gold. I got a blue and a purple one. Two purple ones to match the Twitch color scheme. I always try to wear the blue or the yellow though. All right. I got arcade mode, original two with the panning, original one without the panning. The panning makes me uh, motion sickness. Actually, it doesn't, it, 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 it can make a lot of people motion sickness. So we're gonna do original one. Uh, normal, monkey, child, very easy, easy, normal. Do four fighters, key, config A is shut, B shut. R is rapid. R is rapid. That's good. Do four. Five is... What's L start? L and start. What does L and start say? What does this little message mean? Let's find out. This little message here. Search images. L and start. What does that mean? Use the L start button to shortcut the screen for selecting your device. Click select. L and start. Oh, okay. Like the, the ship. Okay, I see what that means. Hide player. Alright. Should we play on normal? I'm going to do this on easy. I'm gonna do it on easy, number four. P38 Lightning, Mustang, Spitfire, Messer, Zero Fighter, Shinden. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the light. Oh, Shinden, okay, we're doing Shinden. Scramble, air target one, let's go. Let's go, so B is my bomb, A is my shot, R is the rapid. Get those gold bars. Boom. Nice little shmup right here. Here we go. Now, I've played the Neo Geo version of Strikers 1945. It's really good. That B button. Get that bomb. Three bombs. Avoid those bullets. Got him. Oh, that's a mech. Holy shit. That, um, that, that plane just turned into a mech. I don't know about this game taking place in 1945, but 
It's an alternate 1945. It's what's on all the consoles, the Neo Geo version. So it's based off of two. Neo Mecha will come on in. It totally happened in the 40s, yeah. Mechs exist back then. That bomb. This guy turned into the uh, top half of the Terminator. The AC. Oh, Neo Geo. Snowy Mountain. It's definitely a Gundam, yeah. Hail Sin of Stubborn, yeah. Oh, Hi Sin of Stubborn. Stubborn. Ugh. Yeah, I was I was gonna play uh, Gundam Side Story 007 uh, for the Saturn. There's three volumes. Uh, volume two and three work with the twin stick. I was I was gonna play that originally tonight, but I figured uh, it, it's gonna be boring. The game is actually pretty good. Just the cutscenes could be a little boring because they're all in Japanese, and if you don't understand the language, you'll just be like, standing there like, uh. Well. Uh, one day I'll play uh, the Gundam side story game, because I really want to play more uh, twin stick shoot em ups. Uh, twin stick shoot, uh, twin stick compatible Saturn games. But like, I want to try Gun Griffin too one day on, on stream. Cause that is fully compatible with the uh, the virtual on twin stick. Shit. Next level. Sounds like the launch base zone theme in Sonic Origins that they that they uh, replaced. Uh, I still haven't I still haven't played Origins yet on the. I didn't buy my copy yet. Uh, when I get paid next uh, week, I'm actually gonna pick it up. Finally. Um. Will I stream the game? Probably not, because I'd rather stream something of high quality <laughs> than that, uh, that garbage. I hear, uh, it's not that good. <laughs> um, there's a lot of glitches in it. And it, I remember when Sonic Mania first came out, there was a lot of glitches in there. 
Bubsy 3D. I would rather stream Bubsy 3D. I've played Bubsy 3D on stream. That's a great game. That is a great game. I, I want 100% that game. I've, I've always, I've told me and Matt, me and Upside Down Matt, we have to 100% it. Barbie Explorer. Was oh, that on the PS1? You know, no joke, I legitimately want to try out the uh, the Teletubbies game for PS1. Because it has the whole show on the disc in FMV. I remember the whole... Uh, wait, is Neo, Neo, are you still there? I don't mean to call you out or anything, but... Neo, Neo remembers the, the great Teletubbies... Um, Chaos Dibs from two, 2020 with Cody's stream. So so many people got into a fight over Discord. So many people got into a fight over a copy of Teletubbies on PS1. Oh, I called I called Dibs on it first. Check the chat. Oh crap. Get that bomb. Use it. There you go. Bomb it. And then it ended up it ended up being me that dibs it first, but I was like, you know what, I don't wanna cause a fight, just give it to whoever. <laughs> the Teletubbies, yeah. Alright, so when you continue the game now, it starts the level over. That's where the game gets harder. So the trick is to survive the whole level without dying. You know, honestly though, that game is fairly uncommon though. To the the people that got angry over it, it's it's fairly uncommon. So like whenever I'm in my, my local game store, I always see if they have a copy and they don't. And it's funny. Because it doesn't go for a lot of money. It's like 14 bucks or so. Um, the same case with Bubsy 3D. Like, I haven't been able to find that game in a while, in the wild. So, like, the best way to find it is to go on eBay. But, uh... Nobody wants to go on eBay. So, they, they'd rather find it in the wild. I'm out of bombs? No, I thought I had bombs. Here's my bomb. What the heck is this? There we go. Did we win? Nice, did it. Start the whole wife coming back to our oh yeah <laughs> I don't know about that but I remember the the the, the teletubbies <laughs> being involved hey thanks for the follow appreciate it Use it. Dead. Grab that pink and boom. Let's get that bomb. Another bomb. Damn it. Went right into that bullet. Bomb it. Oh. This is a bo boss. Oh. Game over. Oh, I thought I had it. Oh. Oh, I got lucky there. 
Bomb. Get that peak. Dead. I should have used the bomb. Only use a bomb if you can't escape it. Again, I'm starting to get hard. I just think that's nonsense because I recall using my bomb several times. I guess it just didn't register fast enough. Bomb. Ooh, extra life. Look at that. Nice, get that bomb. Is there? Here? Dead. Bomb. Bomb. Nice. Here comes the boss. Three lines. We got this guy. Boom. Another form. He switches his bullets. Multiple times. Okay. Power up. Bomb. Bomb again. What's this? Dead. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Somehow we, <laughs> me dying blew him up. All right, scramble. Is this the final level? I think it is. Next to the GGs. Yeah, it starts getting harder. I think there's several of these uh, levels. Start over. It's it tough. All right, so that's the that's the boss. I remember this boss. It's not so bad. It's the the one after this where it gets pretty nuts. So what? We, we're on the moon. We're now on the moon. I don't think this takes place in 1945 anymore. See, we didn't put a guy on the moon until 1960s. Dead. Hey, thanks for the fall. Appreciate it. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Get that bomb. Dead. Oh, we got one more. Bomb. Pete, what is this? The boss? Scorpion. Well, we got another form. Dead. Ooh. All right, try that again. You're going to get good at this. Dead. 
dead. The heck is that? The heck is that? Two mobster. Now we got. Now we got dancing Frank Sinatra in purple. Yeah, it's 1945. Dead. Never shuts up coming in with the raid. Yo, NSU, welcome on in. How you doing? Thank you for the raid. Welcome, Raiders. Playing Strikers 1945. Happy sick of Saturn Day. This is where the game gets tough. Dead. Bomb it. There we go. What's up, Venice? How you doing? Thank you for that read. Dead. Nice. Got a bomb, get a power up, good. Bomb. That coin thingy. Alright, boss. Two bombs, one life left. Let's kick this shit out of a bomb. Bomb. There we go. Second form turns into like a beetle or something. No. Dead. Boom. Bomb. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dead. Tried nothing but hot... Uh, tried a bit of Hotline Miami. Little snake pass. Let's get a shout out. Yo, VGF, welcome on in. Shout out to NSU. Never shuts up. Thank you for the read. Trek yo... Trekto Yomi. Nice. Then you play a little Hotline Miami, yeah. Hotline Miami is one of those games where you just have to constantly die over and over again until you get it right. The last time I played Hotline Miami was when I played the sequel. And I only played the sequel because I was interested to see what the story was going to go. And I wanted to hear all the awesome synthwave tracks. Oh, dancing alien. Dancing purple alien. Oh, dancing mobsters now. Because it's the 40s. Dead. Bomb. Bomb. This guy. Oh, dead. Ah, uh, life. Boss is gonna be different, I know it. Dead. Why didn't I know NSU was live? You get, you know what? That's been happening a lot lately with Twitch. I have a feeling a lot of people haven't been getting like notifications like that anybody has been live. Lin Banju. <laughs> That's been happening awfully a lot. Or like those. 
I know I, uh, this, this is a famous one. Like sometimes it'll say, all right, you're live. And then uh, they'll say, yeah, you're live. Then all of a sudden, you're not live. You were live like 10 hours ago. Like, oh yeah, King of Apex live. Uh, boom. Hit the bomb. Yeah, it happens all the time. That's like how on YouTube, YouTube, like a long time ago, um, if you didn't have the notification bell checked, after a while, it would it would automatically unsubscribe you from the channel that you're following. This pissed off a lot of uh, creators because they would lose, they were wondering, why am I losing followers? Like all of a sudden, oh, they had the notifications turned off. What's the point? Does the under the Undertaker know he's coming in? Oh, he's coming up in the game. Oh yeah, because he's wearing the uh, the the mobster hat. Yeah, this isn't even the final boss. I know the final boss is like mobsters. Boom. Oh, I lost it. Dead. Get the bomb. One the center. dead. One. Power up. Two power ups. One life. Two bombs. Scorpion. So this is a different boss. We're fighting a scorpion this time. Fuck up the scorpion. Boom. Did it. Finally. Alright, this is the final boss. This level. Five hours later. Yeah, this is the final boss right here. I think this is the final boss. Hermit crabs. Giant robot hermit crabs. Dead. Pete. What do we get here? Dead. Continue. Yeah, I remember this boss. This is the famous boss. It was like a, it was a Sega Saturn day from 2021. I was legitimately, this, the first game I picked on Sega Saturn day out of like 10 other Sega Saturn games. The first game I picked was this game. And I was stuck on this boss until for like three hours, and I didn't finish the game. I gave up. And then I, I don't think I played any other games after that. I played like one or two games, and that was it. Wolfen Man, welcome on in. Love this game, but it's ungodly. Oh, oh yeah. Dead. Bombing. Yeah, here comes the boss. One of the bosses. There you go. Get the P. Next form is... I think there's like two other forms or something. Star? Yeah, it's like three forms. Yeah, this is it. Moxie, welcome on. And Randy, welcome on. In. Dude, you got a wireless Saturn controller and a Sashiator in heaven. A pack of batteries. <laughs> nice. Cool. Get those saves going. Bomb. I don't know why I use those bombs, but whatever. Way 
to do that boss without a bomb, but fuck it. We're playing this one on easy instead of normal. Normal I remember getting stuck on. Now we're up to this boss. Star. I think there's like three forms of this fight. Dead. Spam and bomb. Oh, nice. And then there's another form. Final form. Hermit crab. Final. Hermit crab dead. Ugh. Gotta conserve lives slash bombs. D ah. Not good. Dead. Yeah, just take my game over already. One more time. I have this one up. Yeah, we have that up. Da -da. Yeah, what sucks about Strikers 1945, after a certain number of levels, when you continue, it restarts the whole level. It pulls a... A Raiden Fighter's Aces on you. They do that in Raiden Fighter's Aces. Hermit Crabs, yeah. P, P. Wonder if I could. There we go. Guy goes down eventually. Bomb. Nope. Bomb. Bomb back. One life. Bomb. Nice. Get the key. Let's see if we can fight this guy. You know his last form doesn't dead. Let's see, we got like, one more. Dead. <laughs> All right. Got to conserve life. Dead. Ooh, lost one life. Try to conserve as much life as possible without using bomb. Dead. Ooh, should up take my health. My health. Maybe we could try this boss again. Dead. Dead. Game over. All right, try this again. Ba -da -ba -da. Shoot that guy. P. Another P. You asshole. Just gonna go get him right in the center. Boom. Boom, there we go. Get, that, get those gold bars.
dead. Ugh. Bomb. Nice. One bomb, one life. Maybe this part just just throw a bomb at him. Bomb. Dead. Bomb him. There we go. P. Two bombs left. I don't think we could use a bomb on him immediately. Dead. <laughs> Can't use a bomb on him immediately. He goes down. I think there's one more form after that part, too. My memory serves me well. Pull that guy up, get the P. One more. Pete. There we go. Get that guy. Dead. Ooh. Get your keys. Get him. Oh, you bastard. Piece of asshole right there. And I didn't have to do that, but I did. Dead. All right, try that again. <laughs> this is hard. This is very, very fucking hard. And I'm playing on easy. I noticed that it is slightly easier than uh, when I first played this game on normal. Slightly easy, because I remember before it goes to space with the cur the hermit crab. I remember struggling pretty badly on that part. Bomb. Got him. Get the bomb. This part, I probably could kick his ass with the bomb. Bomb. There we go. Grab the P. Three lives. All right, this is better. This is like last night with the Strato Fighter. All right, so this form. Dead. Yeah. Bomb. There we go. One bomb, two lives. There we go. I think there's another form after this. Dead. There we go. We got one more form. That's right. Bomb. It's this form right here. This freaking sun guy. Oh, I get it. I did it. Or did I? I beat it. I beat the game. Nice. Now, let's see here. Is there a loop, too? I beat the game. Look at that. Nice. Now, I think there's a second loop, though. No big deal if it, if it loops again. Did it. See, we had to do it on, on easy. Shinden J7 pilot. Question mark. Scramble. Yep, there's a second loop. Alright, we're going to do second loop. 
We're doing second loop. Doing the second loop. At least we know how to beat it now. Now the game's even harder. Oh, it just games it games over on the second loop. It's a one credit one credit clear. Yeah. All right. Well, we beat the first loop. Okay. Done. Best strikers. Shinden. Won't even. Okay. So that's what the second loop is all about. It just it just doesn't let you continue if you die. All right. Cool. All right. Let's get a let's get a recap what we did tonight. Well, it's now morning. <laughs> Right before 6 a.m. too is the trend. All right, we play, We started off with Dodon Pachi, Japanese Saturn. Then we played Kiro Tasi, beat that game. Then we played Noon, and I rage quit very hard on it. It's, Noon's a good game. It's just very frustrating. We played Rabbit. Rabbit was cool. Uh, then we played Road Rash. Road Rash was fun. Then we played Metal Slug. A normal difficulty, we beat it. Then we played Iron Man, and we soft-locked the game, and we ended off the night with Strikers 1945. So I want to thank you all for coming to my stream tonight. This will take us to the very end. Good good place to stop for the night. I could I could go on a little bit longer, but uh, you guys all need to go to sleep, and I need to go to sleep, so I want to thank you all for coming out. I appreciate everybody. You missed the rage quit on noon. Oh, yeah, I, I said the B word. I yelled the B word out loud. So yeah, I well, thank everybody for coming out. Thank you for all for the new follows and the subs and the the bits. It, I think it was it was NBA Jam level. Never shuts up. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. It is morning. It's laid out. Hope I think it's gonna be sunny. It looks a little cloudy. I hope it's sunny. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, guys, get at my socials. The next stream will probably be on Tuesday. I think Tuesday is the next stream. Monday is not a good day to stream for me, so I think Tuesday will be the day. And I'll let you guys know what game it, it will be. I have a lot of games on the list to play. So follow me up on Twitter, Discord, YouTube, Instagram. Tw Twitter and Discord are the best places uh, for the alerts and to know uh, what I'm going to play. And tap that notification bell and follow if you're new here, if you like what you say. And let's go raid somebody. Let's see who's online. We'll end the stream off with a good note with a raid. Okay, who gets it? Let's say hello to somebody awesome and cool. I see somebody on. Let's see here. Let's raid. Let's raid somebody from the community. Let's say hello to Ice Turbo. Ice Turbo has raided the stream before. Let's go send you send you guys over him. He's playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night. If you sub the channel, you can use the first message. If not, use the second one. And I'll see you guys all Tuesday. And I'll let you know the game. Good night, everybody. Peace out. Later. Stay safe. Peace. Sure. Yeah. <sighs>